What is up, everybody? How are we doing? Let me know if the audio is good. Let's get straight into it, boys. Microvision, holy crap. Microvision, man. 22%. I missed this one completely. Um, I missed this. I missed this. I missed this run up completely. Obviously, you know, we've made a killing off Microvision these last this last week here. And uh, today it's getting the best of us. Let me make sure let me let me guys my, my nerves. I need someone to tell me the audio and everything's good because I'm a YouTube newbie. I do not know what I'm doing half of the time on YouTube, my friends. Seriously, I'm a newbie. Um, but yeah, Microvision, we did miss that one. Uh, it is it is running right now. I only have three shares that it's running today, man. We got the lidar update. Uh, let me see here if we can go. Yeah, they we got the we got the lidar update right here. Um, okay, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, appreciate that. Thank you for telling me. I thought it was good. AGTC and BioLace. I'm taking all your requests today. I am gonna take. I don't know how long we're gonna go today, but this is gonna be a fun one, man. I'm really excited for that. I love live streams. AGTC. This is an interesting one. I was gonna talk about this anyway. I, I had that written down as well. AGTC BioLace uh, Nano Dimension, and we're gonna do a BNGO buy limit. I'm gonna set a buy limit live, and I'm gonna tell you exactly where I do it. You're gonna see exactly how it's done, my friends. Um, for AGTC, this is an interesting one because, guys, if the market is right now, I like the the sentiment towards the bill that might that. Uh, uh, Biden just unveiled. I did a video on that. Catch if you don't know anything, you can watch that, or you can just hear me short in short sum it up. Basically, there's a high chance. At least I think there's a high chance. Uh, not a high chance. There's a chance that the bill won't even get passed. And if that bill doesn't get passed, I think there's. I think the only logical response to that and, and extrapolation on what the markets are going to do is break above all time highs. Because if we look at the markets right now, I said if you if anyone remembers yesterday, um, I said the longer we hold. Uh, right here in this little red zone, the more likely it is we break, right? Because once we get that rejection, when you get rejections, it's likely, you know, the last time we got rejected here, boom, quick retest of the next support, right? And same here. We got a we got a touch point, boom, all the way down until we touch this ascending level, right? That strongest support we have. Rejection here, right? Strong, quick rejections, right? They straight down. There's no there's no holding. Right now we're holding. So if we can close the day, if the NASDAQ can close the day where it is right now, I'm gonna be using my buying power because every every second that the Nasdaq holds in this box is another second that it's more likely that we break above all time highs for me. But we've got big tech earnings, we've got a ton more earnings. You know what? Let me go ahead and pull up earnings whisper so we can go ahead and go ahead and check out some uh some earnings reports. We have we have had some crazy earnings yesterday after hours was pretty crazy. AMD beat um I think Microsoft was getting killed. Pinterest was getting is Pinterest still getting killed? It was down like 10%. Oh my gosh, down 13%. Let's check out Pinterest real quick. Okay, before I get to AGTC and ADXY, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to all yours, Victor. I'm gonna cover all those today. Yeah, but Pinterest, Pinterest gap to fill, you know, if you want to call that a gap to fill. This is the fallacy with gaps, you know, the people who say we got a gap to fill. You know, um, it's just uh, the pre if you look at the four hours, there are no gaps, you know, because they account for the after hours and pre-market. And after hours and pre-market, there is some volume. But uh, yeah, but Pinterest is getting killed. We've got the Fed, we've got we've got the Biden bill. Who knows what they're gonna unveil? They, there could be worse things with the bill that we don't even know about but right now while y'all are still watching and before you get too bored of me um i will say that i am looking my my faith in the markets and my optimism is going up uh, right now i have not i have not done any trades since uh since yesterday or yeah since since yesterday morning since yesterday when i sold out of a lot of things uh, right at highs i have not went back in at all uh, i missed microvision obviously in hindsight i wish i bought microvision but uh, you know i i can't tell the future and when you're with my when in this situation there was no reason for me to invest in Microvision. It's a it's a complete gamble right now. It's looking like right now we're going to get rejected this zero percent retracement. We've ran up a hundred percent. You guys know. I know. I get flack for this. I get dislikes whenever I say anything that's not like we're going to the moon for BNGO and Microvision. I get dislikes on the videos. That's the, old, it's the only time I get a lot of dislikes. I am bullish long term. Trust me. I love Microvision. You guys know I love Microvision. I'm not married to the company though. People say hold, never sell, buy always, never f and sell. Right. That's total bull. Don't do that, guys. We're here to make money, not to get a ring with the with the company you're in. And for me, there's just more risk than reward. We've got earnings. We've got the Nasdaq potential double top. Right now, I'm getting more bullish on the Nasdaq. And as if nothing crazy happens within the stream, obviously we may be seeing more live trades today. Finally, I'm going to do some live trades. I'm going to do at least one live trade with BNGO. I'm going to set a buy limit on BNGO around six six forty six. I think it was. I'll have to look, make sure. But yeah, we're going to be doing some live trades. We're going to be doing a ton of stuff. Anyways, let's get to AG. TC and uh, and the, the the requested stocks Victor um, requested here. So AGTC, 
Um, there's nothing really interesting here. We got rejected at that 21 day SMA, otherwise known as that middle band. Uh, I would like if you can get in at this uh, at this horizontal level three seven. You guys know what I think ADTC is going to do long term. We've had an unjustified sell off. The hype used to be pretty high in this company. There was a time a couple weeks ago when a lot of people liked this company, and now it's just out the window. And when stocks go down, no one cares about the company, and everyone thinks it's horrible. When stocks go up, like oh, that's a really good company. I like the stock. You know, Wall Street bets. I like the stock. Yeah, that's essentially what happens. People are stupid. People are really stupid nowadays. But if you can get entry point on uh, three dollars and seventy two cents, or right now is a fine entry point, um, I would just be careful because right now you're kind of betting on news, and this is obviously a really uh, news dependent company. They're a clinical stage biotechnology company. They've got a ton of products. They've got a great management team, and the analysts love them. So, and, and insider and institutional adoption or not adoption ownership is very good. So, there's a lot of things going for this, but there's just no interest in the stock. Anyways, what else do we got? Uh, BioLace. Let's do BioLace right now. What other requests do you guys got? Uh, let me know. I'm going to do BioLace real quick. This is actually something I was potentially uh, wanting to trade, wanting to trade uh, today, actually. If we drop down to that $0.74 cent level, that is a good entry point. You guys know, a lot. many of you know what I'm thinking about BioLace long term. We're going to the moon long term, right? It's a 10, 30x potential. This one has, over the over the next few decades, I'd say BioLace has similar to the amount of sim, a similar potential to BNGO, right? They are in a space just like BNGO, right? So you got, um, you got long Read sequencing and next generation sequencing, and then BNG with optical genome mapping. With BioLace, it's traditional dentistry is the is the one they're trying to take over. And then you got laser dentistry, right? So it's another kind of space, kind of co- trying to come in and disrupt the market. So so this one has a ton of potential, and obviously the sell off. I mean, it's a penny stock delisting, you know, uh, reverse split there. They had a filing that Victor sent me a while ago that looked very concerning. But there were also some interesting nuggets in there that I that I can dissect that again if you all want. But anyways, um, hold on. I want to do – all right, let's do BNGO really fast. Let's do BNGO. Let's do – you know what? For the people who are in here early at the start, I'm just going to go ahead and set my buy limit now for y'all. All right, let's take a look at the four hourly. I think this is the where, the, where we have the, the indicators I, I like here. Okay, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to set a buy limit order, I think, for 646, a small buy limit order, because I right now I'm not trying to do a live trade just for the sake of doing it. I want it to be something that's actually what I believe, right? So I'm not just trying to like, okay, we're going all in, boys, day trade. Let's go to the moon, YOLO, right? Wall Street bets mode. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, but I, yeah, let's go ahead and set it. I'm setting a buy limit order uh, around the support level. I think I'm going to set it right in the middle. Uh I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna set it around a little bit above this super trend. You guys know the super trend is our uh, very, very strong support levels, and I don't see this the super trend breaking. Obviously, because you know I don't think a justified sell off. Could, I don't think a justified sell is going to occur unless we get some sort of crazy news. CEO gets shot in the head, nuclear bomb, you know, something insane like that. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and set it. Let's go ahead and set. I'm going to set it for 646 because I'm more conservative right now, guys. I'm more conservative at the moment because we've got so many unknowns in the market. You know, today after we get a couple of green days, everyone is just back in their old February 16th prior mindset where it's just like everything's going to moon. Everything buy always, never sell. You're a pussy if you sell. Like no, guys, please don't don't let those people persuade you. I know we have a strong, we have a smart follow. I think many of the, the the recurring viewers here know what the hell they're doing. I mean, especially if you've been with the channel a while and you've been through the downtrending and the up a fifty percent day, down thirty percent day. You know, you you know what you're doing if you uh, if you follow the channel for a while. But yeah, let's go ahead and set a limit order. We're gonna do we're gonna do I'm gonna do fifty shares, fifty shares, nothing crazy. Okay, as I said, I'm more conservative. I'm not doing this just for the sake of a live live trade, but it's an added bonus. You know, I mean. It's. I mean, let's be honest. A live trade is cool. Come on. But six forty six. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, not extended hours. Really simple. Uh, we could day trade a thousand. Should we do a thousand? Should we do a thousand? A thousand. One thousand two hundred shares. Seven thousand dollars day trader. Should we do that, boys? <laughs> oh boy, that would that would be crazy. That would be very stressful, my friends. No way. I'm not. I'm not that type of a YOLO investor, my friends. Um. Anyways, yeah. Six forty six. Six forty six. Man, place order. Here we go. If I if it is executed, I uh, I have to hold it overnight. Let's do it. All right, submit it successfully. Six forty six. Um, there we go. All right, there's our live trade, my friends. Yeah, I am gonna look at all yours, Victor. I did promise you I would look at all yours. A D X S. I'm gonna try to get to everyone's today. I don't care how long it takes. I've got a little bit of time. I, I do want to eat. I'm already hungry right now. I'm getting the getting the uh, the the grumbles or whatever you call them. 
but I can, I'm going to go for at least another hour. I think, I don't know. We're going to do as long as the hype is high in the stream, right? As long as people are not too bored. Right. I know some people sitting through a stream like this for like an hour. It's just, I know it's hard guys. I've done it for other people, but any, any, any questions you guys have, leave your questions, anything, anything. I don't even, not even soccer related. Yeah. I don't, I don't even care. Anything y'all want to know. I got you. All right. But much bands on the, okay. So AD, AD, XS. Let me check out the profile. Uh, biotechnology. Why is everything we like? We're just like the biotechnology uh, uh, community here. That's all of our our, our stocks. Um, okay, my mono cytogens. Um, cancer. Okay, cancer. Okay. Wow, this is very complicated. Uh, Anti tumor T cell immunity. Wow. Wow, Victor, you're in some deep crap here. You went down a couple rabbit holes, didn't you, with the technology here? Hope you've done your due diligence because this sounds very complicated. We did just get that flip with the parabolic star, otherwise known as the stop and reverse indicator, this green spherical alien indicator. If you're wondering what that is, I got videos for you. Special technical analysis playlist. Quick plug. We got that. We got that bullish flip, but we're still in downtrending territory macroscopically. But at the same time, I would not be surprised based on the technicals alone if we see a flip because we've been seeing this downtrend so long. RSI is going to be fairly oversold, I'm guessing. Yes, it's very oversold. So 3567. And Remember, quick disclaimer for all the newbies here. These technical analysis I'm doing right now, don't know what the hell I'm doing, bro. I don't know these companies. I'm just giving you quick, right off the top of my head, most interesting things that I see off the charts. Obviously, you know, technical analysis is my thing. That's what I'm best at, I think, essentially. But I don't know these companies, so take it with a grain of salt, my friends. Also, looking at the EMAs, see if we can find anything interesting here. Ooh, I do not like that. You've been downtrending for a while on this company. Victor, I hope you know why this company was is is valued. Oh my God, it used to be worth five hundred dollars a share. Yeah, uh, we are in downtrending territory macroscopically. Not we 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 were below the two hundred day moving EMA macroscopically, and you had a death cross. That's right, a, a, a mother effing death cross uh, between the two hundred day exponential moving average and the thirteen day moving average and the fifty. Actually, no, technically, you're still in Golden Cross. The 55 is above the 200 day EMA, but you just got that. And literally, they're going to come crashing down on the price action. So, that is really, this is, this company is a gamble, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, based on these indicators. But what else do y'all want to see? I know only one person wants to see that, Victor, my friend. Um, MVIS, I'm getting a request for MVIS. Okay, that's going to be kind of, I think that's going to be like the most requested one, honestly, because we're running again. And I kind of said, I'm just waiting for someone to be like, you should have held. For those people who are wondering, like, Brandon, why do you only have three shares? Why didn't you get in today? Because it was too risky. Risky, my friends. It was too risky. I mean, today we got the LiDAR update. We didn't know. We knew it was coming before May. Well, we didn't know. They, these companies say they're going to do something and they don't do it all the time. You got earnings. You got big tech earnings. You got the markets double tap. It's too, it was too risky for me. I didn't take the trade. I could have. I almost did. I almost did take the trade this morning because, like I said in our last Microvision video or in the live stream, I forgot, but I remember telling you guys on the stream, I think it was a stream, but I told you guys, look for a kiss off that four hourly Bollinger Band, that middle 21 day S and May on the four or 21, I guess, four hourly rates. Right? So that's not the day, but 21 a simple moving average on the four hourly. We got that perfect kiss 19, 1973. That was your entry point. You could have got in there, obviously, could have sold. I mean, right now, just make sure you confirm above this, uh, this previous, uh, 0% retracement level, previous all time high, uh, if you are looking for a trade in Microvision right now. Um, sundial, sundial, my friend. Okay, I've seen that one for, I, I think you've been requesting that for a while. So I got you, my friend. Oh my gosh, Sunday is so boring nowadays. How does the stock keep with the consistent volume? How much how much does this get every it's got what is this? Hundred million, four hundred and eighty million average shares traded. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. When this stock ramps up again, when the cannabis sector starts it, man, boom. We're going, I think, because next anytime the cannabis sector gets hype, it's like done. It, everyone is in. Everyone's FOMO. No, sell your microvision. Sell your BNGO. Everyone is out. Bitcoin, Sundial, Sundial until ready to the moon, essentially. Especially Sundial is the hype stock that, that a lot of people, the novice traders that don't know what they're doing, but they play with you know retail money or house money, or they're just idiots and they bet their life savings on it. People, you got those people too. Uh, they like Sundial, and once we see some upward momentum, once we see the cannabis sector start to uh, start start to take off here, it's it's going to be over, I think. Sundial, Sundial is an easy. It's an easy winner long term. Uh, and now, okay, I shouldn't say that. The, the sector that that Sundial is in, the cannabis sector, one hundred. There's no doubt in my mind that it's going to be a winner long term. No doubt. Um, I'm about as bullish on the cannabis sector as I am on the genomics and uh, several other sectors that I really like. I like the crypto sector. This one is no different. I mean, but this one is a penny stock. It's got a lot of risks associated, but it's also the most high reward potentially. So. 
Thoughts on BNGO price action right now? Here's the thing, guys. The reason why I'm not really covering BNGO right now, it doesn't really, for me, it, it doesn't really matter what what the price action is for BNGO short term. All that matters for BNGO is that we hold above 646, which is where my buy limit is, because obviously, uh, well, I guess not obviously. If we're looking at the four hourly, one of my favorite indicators, one of the most important ones, the super trend and the SAR. I hope we don't see 646. I hope this limit order does not get filled. I still have plenty of money, and by, I've got 38% of the portfolio. Uh, three 3,000 uh, market value, obviously, yes, I'm in college. Yes, oh, you know shares. I hate when people say, oh, you have no money. You're just playing with house money, dude. I'm in college. I'm in college, my friend. This is a, a fair amount of my net net, net, uh, net worth, so I don't want to hear that. Anyways, um, it, it, what BNGO's, what's going to dictate pri BNGO's price action these next couple of days, or at least short-term next couple of hours, in my opinion, it's all the Fed, man. It is almost all of it is going to be the Fed and the Biden's tax bill and and the market. That's all it's going to be, um, unless we obviously get a catalyst. That could obviously happen. Why is BNGO giving away all the gain from two days ago, my friend? I want you to listen very closely. We, okay, I've heard a, a we've had, I've had a, what do you call it? Someone on Twitter. I saw a post on Twitter that said. Three steps forward, one step back, and that perfectly describes what's happening with BNGO. When you get when you get green days like this, Ryan, this is nothing against you, my friend. I think I've seen you before, so I'm sure you're not. I'm sure your comment is uh, not uh, intentionally meaning this. But when we go up, you get people that FOMO in, and then they're like, "What? It's going red now. Wait, what? What's going on?" Guys, you have to have red days to have green days. It's nothing to be worried about. We literally are not even, we're barely at half of our uh, 20% day. And that's just one day. We still have moved up over 20%. I, I think it's like 25, 30% from 512. So we're still doing fine. As long as we, I mean, as long as we hold where we are now, I mean, we're fine. I mean, even as, as long as we hold above 646, even if we dip to 646, then get a bounce up to seven again, I'm fine with that. That's fine, man. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, Ryan, I did recognize you, my friend. Yes, sir. Legend, you are a legend, my friend. Much to learn, you still have, though. In the words of Yoda, if you are, if you are really are wondering why, you know, is it is it is it time to panic with BNGO? No, my friends, it, it's not. If you're gonna, if you're, if you're even asking that question, you probably shouldn't be invested in it. Honestly, I mean, yes, I took profits on. I it didn't take profit. I took seventy two shares out of four hundred seventy two off the table way up here yesterday, right? Way up here, I took profits because I knew we were going to see lower down. But I didn't want to risk everything against Bionic. I don't like betting against Bionic. You know, people ask me, I got to question yesterday a comment why did you why didn't you sell all your shares at uh at 767 i think that was my average price yesterday if you knew it was going to go down because i didn't know it was going to down go down you never know what's going to happen my friends you never know what if it breaks 646 then then it is time to uh get a little bit worried now if it does break 646 and confirm the breakdown meaning if we do break below this come back up on the five minute chart or the one minute, 30 minute, whatever, Macros microscopic time frames or the daily, preferably we get a four hourly closed below that for, for a breakdown if you're a bear, right? Preferably you get a confirmed breakdown by touching that, rejecting it as a new support. Uh, and you don't even have to do that with this because it's moving. This thing will just flip red and it'll just be done, right? Once you once you go down there and, and break that level. But I don't I don't think that's happened. The only way that, the only way we break 646, the only way we see 46, 646, I think is if, uh, is if people start freaking out which can definitely happen or if we get some crazy market action or a headwind you know i don't think it's likely i really don't i don't think it's likely my friend take a look at the level two data look at this we got a we got a whale here messing with the orders kate i guarantee you well i, I can't guarantee you but i'll say eighty three thousand shares selling at 691 no 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 this is a fake wall there are so many fake walls it's funny that's why i don't like looking at the level two data that much sometimes it's good when it's actually a, a, a fight between the bulls and the bears but this is just messing around i think um what else do y'all want to see? What else? Uh, what else am I missing here? Did I miss any requests? Um, when BNGO hits fifty, I'll buy you a share, Brandon. Mark this post. <laughs> I look forward to it, my friend. I'll hold you to that deal. No, I'm kidding. You don't have to do that, my friend. IDEX. Okay, I think I said I was going to cover this yesterday, and I didn't cover it. So let's do that right now. Also, please, everyone, give me your feedback right now. Do you want me to stream every day? Be honest. I don't care if you hate the streams. If you think I'm just stupid, and I just I have to edit the videos, and I can't talk articulately, you know, uh, that's fine. If you don't like live streams, if they're bad times, please give me your honest opinion. If you don't want the live streams, tell me. If you want me to keep doing the daily i like doing daily live streams i mean i don't know if i'm going to continue doing them daily but i'm going to do at least a couple at least three a week or two three a week have you done nano dimension yet no we're going to do that very soon that's i actually have that written down nano dimension um s and 500 we're going to go over the fed the economic calendar and the biden tax increase proposal we got a ton of other stuff to go through but idex really fast really fast 
before everyone leaves because no one cares about the stock except like two people maybe we did break above this uh let me look at the daily chart here Okay, we did break above this 78.6% of trading level at $2.72. I like that. Taking a look at some indicators. Uh, this is not the most interesting chart, honestly. This is really boring. Um, I mean, you have a potential heavily modified triple bottom. Heavily modified and triple bottoms are bullish, but I would not call that. I would not call it. I mean, that, that, that's, it, that's a very iffy triple bottom. Okay, so you have maybe a double bottom. You are approaching resistance. This is a good sell signal if you are bearish on the markets, which markets at this point, guys, NASDAQ is pretty much fit. 50. I mean, if we hold, if we call, I tell you what, if the Nasdaq closes the day where it is right now, uh, I don't like this. I don't like where it's at right now. Let's let me let me get, you know what? Let me just go to the Nasdaq real quick to make sure, so I'm not spreading uh, a false little a false um, sign here. Okay, so if we hold above fourteen thousand, hold on, let me make sure. Okay, so yeah, if we hold above 14,000, 14,050, 14,050 roughly, I would say. So if we hold, let's see here. Um, so yeah, if we hold right around that level, okay, so around 0.34%, as long as the NASDAQ closes the day above that, I will be like, I would be slightly more bullish on the NASDAQ in the next few days to come. Uh, I'm not going to explain why, because you guys have heard my ranting on that. Uh, I recommend watching the auspicious technical analysis playlist if you don't understand. Thank you for the feedback, my friends. Masab, streams are great. I'm off today, which is why I'm able to attend. But I usually work on weekdays. Yeah, I under I, I get most people work on weekdays, but I can't do them in the after in the in the in the afternoon because I'm so so busy, man. The the BNGO videos take so much time, and the comments and the Reddit. Oh my God, the editing is so much. But I yeah, I got to do them here. I, this is the only time I really can. But I appreciate the feedback. We like your videos, but you should have sold, not sold yesterday. Are you talking about MVIS or BNGO, my friend? Oh no, are you one of those people that are buy always, never f and sell, man? Oh no, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to just take your comment, destroy your post, man. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to turn your post into shreds. I'm gonna have to tear it into shreds, my friend, if that's what you think, my friends. I don't know if this is what you mean, uh, Marcus here, but my friend, you cannot get in that mindset of never selling something that you're really bullish on. You guys know I love, I love BNGO. Here comes another rant. Get ready, get ready for the tangent, boys. Um, Really? Masab? I thought I would butcher it. I probably just did. I probably forgot what it was really pronounced. I said it the first time. Anyways, um, yeah, b and do not get in that mindset that you just hold uh, and never sell. My friends, the taking profits is not something to be demonized. And this is the this is the biggest negative and defect of the Wall Street bet thing. And I love Wall Street bets, except a couple exceptions. But all in all, I love them. I love the memes. Lord of the Rings memes. Go on Wall Street bets and, and scroll the Lord of the Rings memes. It's so funny if you get time. But uh, do not get in that mindset of never selling. You had these are companies that we're trying to make money off of. These are not these are not spouses, man. We're not trying to get a ring. We're not trying to marry the companies. They don't even know our name, man. We're literally just here to make money. The reason why everyone is watching the stream is to make money. Don't hold if it's not going to help your chances of making money. And I sold my friend. I sold. Yes, I so yeah yeah. Let me show you here. I'll show you. I no no no. Oh, you fallacy of composition. You didn't. This is why I, I no no disrespect to you, Marcus. I'm sure you're a great man. I'm sure you are. It, many of the truths we cling to depend on our point of view. But I sold 72 shares out of 472, and I sold those 72 shares in the pre market when it was up. So basically, I sold at highs, and I could buy in with my ten thousand dollars of buying power right now if I wanted to. But I'm not because the markets are too risky, my friend, Marcus. I'm sure you're great, but this comment really does annoy me yeah i sold 72 out of 472 shares my friend i'm sorry but this you have this is why you have to watch uh, more than more than 10 seconds um yeah sorry my friend uh sorry not sorry you brought it on yourself i'm uh, to be honest uh yeah uh, i would have sold a few shares if it had been green would love to scalp a few well here's the thing i mean i already i mean I knew I, I knew there was a ninety five percent chance that we were going to see a cooldown and I actually got like eight dislikes which is so funny Yes, Marcus. Okay, that's okay. 72 shares. It's okay if you sell all of them if you want to day trade. I don't recommend that. There's nothing. I don't like this whole thing. Oh, no, you're bear, you're bullish on BHO, but you sold out. You want to re-enter lower. That's okay, man. That Plenty of people can do that. Now, me personally, I'm not willing to bet against buy on that long. because so I think personally, I think at all times, catalyst potential can happen anytime. I mean, inside of transactions, call options. Are you kidding me? Uh, Sapphire 2.0, nasal, no, nano no, nozzle leak. Uh, how about innovation in the Sapphire 2.0? Anything, man anything yeah only 72 shares my friend yeah i wish i had 10,000 shares yeah you see how small my account is okay so <laughs> um humble brag there for marcus unintentionally maybe uh but yeah marcus my friend i got like eight dislikes on the pnco video because just because i put i sold in the title and which i thought would attract more views i'm trying everything i can to get more views nothing is nothing's working i'm doing my fucking working eight hours ten hours a day um 
I bought it first time at 803. That is, dude, dude, that's awesome, man. That is awesome that you're doing that. Congratulations. But uh, respectfully, do not uh, make those assumptions of, you know, you're bad, you're horrible, you sold until you know the whole story. You know, we have a big problem in our little modern video, modern uh, society here. We like to say things and give strong opinions without knowing the facts. If you're going to take a strong take, that's fine. If you're going to take a strong take about something, that's amazing. But know what you're doing and know the whole context. For example, watch my whole video before you dislike, but or or not, whatever. You guys do whatever the hell you want. Let's be honest. You don't care what I say. You you care what you how you interpret the information, not what I say. Um, what else do y'all want to know? Thank you so much, Marcus. I really appreciate that. Um, all right, I I, I did I, I kind of fixated on Marcus. Little that 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 whole thing was a and show rant. Let's do something else. What if Nasdaq ends green? I'm guessing that's extremely bullish. Yes, yes, it is. If we ended green, we would be at fourteen thousand one hundred so it would i mean it wouldn't be you know why i take that back it wouldn't be extremely bullish because we would only be let's see we would only be fourteen thousand one hundred sixteen uh we would only be about right right about there uh it's so sensitive okay right there that's about right right where we would close if you guys see that here let me zoom in we would close about right here if we close if we ended the day slightly green. So it's not extremely bullish, but it is very bullish. Okay, it is bullish. I'm not, I can't say it's extremely bullish because it's just such a gamble. The markets are such a gamble right now. We've got too many. Uh, we've got too many things. We got the Fed. We've got Biden. We've got the tax thing. We, I mean, there's so many. We've got a double top pattern here, guys. And quite frankly, this double top. I mean, right now we're pushing. The markets are pushing, so it looks really good. It's really easy to say, oh, it's time to it's time to buy, Brandon. Let's go. I want to see you use that 10 million, 10 million, 10 million would be nice. Ten thousand of buying power to put your money where your mouth is go in on being geo man dude you guys need to learn something not all of you y'all most of y'all know but there are serious risks in the market right now we have a double top we are right now at a crucial level if we confirm the breakdown that is a short term ring the alarm bells the, the lowest we can go realistically short term is down here which is not a crazy drop but it's a pretty significant drop you know that's going to take our stocks down that's going to eviscerate a lot of the profits that we've had the last couple of days right uh you know we, a lot of the profits that we've had that's going to be they're going to be eviscerated rated if that happens oh boy we've got a, a thousand people and now now this is the point where i can't keep up with everyone okay oh boy all right what up boss what up brian how you doing um thank you marcus again for doing that stock twits man thank you thank you thank you go all in on mvis we will see 100 all right boy oh man what levels am i looking for on what levels am I looking for on NASDAQ? Okay, let's cover this real quick. The NASDAQ is all we talk about in these trades, man. But it is true. The NASDAQ is the most important thing in here, I think. Um, level, if we confirm the breakdown below roughly $14,000 and 1450 that is your short-term bearish signal. That is the signal that we're going to go all the way down to test this. Or we can get a false breakout like Bitcoin has been doing the last five years. Not five years, five, five days more like. Um, but but if we close green today, I mean, we're, we're going to be able to cover the markets live, see if there's anything anything crazy going on probably not because the timing of these streams always the most boring stuff happens during the streams for some reason it's the worst luck sometimes i mean we've had a couple of exciting ones when bngo was pushing um oh boy oh boy all right let me cover nano dimension you know i, I had that written down because I, I wanted to cover this because this is an interesting one. Oh my gosh we're down two percent today right now oh boy all right i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do a small limit order i'm gonna get in on nano dimension right now boys i'm gonna explain to you and i'm gonna start my position i'm gonna do just 20 shares just starting the position off 787 if I, I have to hold, yes, yes, I have to hold, blah, blah. Yeah, get in on another live trade. We were able to do another live trade today, and this is a risk. This is a very big risk because if the NASDAQ gets screwed, I'm obviously done. I mean, Nanosmitch has no luck. But if the NASDAQ go up, man, we just got an acquisition, and the stock has literally declined. We got an acquisition yesterday, the acquisition that everyone was claiming, oh, we're, this is what we need. If we if we get an acquisition, we're great. I saw a short interest. I don't know if this is true, but I got someone sent me something on Facebook. It said the short interest was like 60% or something. I don't think that's true. Here, You know what? Let me check the let me check the. the the short interest on nano dimension the last uh, the last time we actually had one okay now of course guys i'm not saying you should do this if you're going to do if you're going to follow my trade or consider it please know what you're doing and don't just mimic my live trades we also did another live trade on uh, bngo we set a buy limit for what is it 646 i think these are all all these two both of these trades that i'm doing i know i've said a thousand times but i have to i have to drive this point home or else someone's going to go out there and go put their life savings in it without knowing what the hell's about to happen if the nasdaq i'm be watching the nasdaq very closely today and the fed i'm okay i'm not going to be watching the fed live maybe because it's just so damn boring but i will definitely 
definitely be watching the news recap and what's actually going on there and how the markets react. If the markets react poorly, double top pattern, double top price target coming to fruition, which is very low. The realistically, realistically the lowest we can go on the Nasdaq is a fair amount, fair amount of percentage, enough to wipe out all of our profits to this week and last week, right? I mean, pretty much all. Of, I mean, yeah, enough to do that for sure. But let me check the Nano Dimensions. Um, short interest if they updated let me see if they updated it they've been so bad updating it this month the short interest usually they update it twice a month um okay so they did update it and uh so it looks like it is a little bit higher not a crazy amount so yeah nano dimension the short interest is higher on the four uh, on the 15th of april so so roughly 15 days ago it was that's when it was last updated it looks like um so yeah it is a little bit higher i, I wouldn't say it is significantly like i can definitely realize it there's a clear difference but it's not huge you know it's not like it's not like market manipulation level of you know okay we might be seeing market manipulation though no. but this is such a just unjustified self and it looks like my buy limit order just got filled okay we'll see if we we'll see if if we uh, we hold 61.8 percent retracement level, we'll see if we hold it. I would expect we do, but obviously we've got shorts. We've got Nano Dimensions got no interest whatsoever in the stop price. Um, we'll see if we do. Let's check out the level two data, see how we're doing here. Um, we have a, we have a buy wall at 780, so we we should be able to hold there at least temporarily. Um, and obviously it's a very small position. We just got let's see. Uh, 20 shares right 157 dollars okay i'm literally just starting i want to see a confirmed breakout before no i don't even want to see a confirmed break this is it. i want to see the nasdaq the nasdaq is literally controlling all of my the markets and jp and biden that they are what is controlling my trading right now i will actually do some real trades with some actual capital like a decent amount of them once we get that confirmation of the breakout above all-time highs once that happens it's gonna be all it's gonna be so fun if that happens hopefully or or biden could do some some other another stupid thing and do another tax bill and then we could all go down to hell right we carnage death everything you know ceo gets shot in the head literally imagine all those things happen at once that's not gonna happen i don't think but that'd be funny anyways uh what else have we got we got a thousand chats here that i haven't got to my friends so medica okay i think this is yeah i did just review nano dimension for you my friend ryan um so medica oh boy we got too many requests i can't start to, i'm gonna have to start picking and choosing um, what are you studying at college? I'm going to do um, political science and, uh, maybe minoring in economics. I don't know. We'll see. Um, all right, let's just do, you know what? Let's do oxygen. Uh, okay. Uh Ocugen, excuse me. I, uh, why do I always mispronounce this? Ocugen, because it is a hype stock. Real quick, I'm going to try to get all yours. I think we'll have time to do all. We already been going for 45 minutes. These or 30 minutes. We, these streams go so quick, man. I swear, every time. It's because we got some live trades. We got some adrenaline going on. We're doing some live trades, man. We'll see if Nano Dimension is 787. Man, it's barely clinging on to that level. That's where I got in at Bio Nano. Uh, not really any movement. Why every time we stream, I swear that everything just goes sideways. There's nothing interesting every time CEO gets shot in the head again. I know, I know, my friend. I'm sorry. Were you the person that said uh, I don't want to hear that again? It's I, I think it's funny. I think CEO gets shot in the head is funny, man. I don't care. It's too good. It's too good. Uh, anyways, I'm being a dead horse with it. I know. I say it like every video. I know. Whatever. It's it's good though. All right, but uh, Bakugan. Sorry for the ranting. You guys know what you're getting into when you click on my video. You don't know what the hell you're getting. Okay, we're getting live trades. Uh, um, the level two data. You know, current positions. We we do new stuff, okay, microvision, quick plugs. We do quick plugs on the channel occasionally on the live stream. So you never know what you're going. You never know what you're doing, my friend. Um, whoa, my friend. Don't buy so early, bro. If a stock is trending downward, we'll always wait till it's long time to buy. All right. Um, you know what? I'm not going to go back to them because I already kind of talked about Nano Dimension, but I just know I don't like the whole lunchtime thing. People say, oh, wait till lunchtime. It's going to push. Very rarely in my experience on day trading, do stocks actually follow that whole power hour, sour hour, and, you know, morning dip, lunchtime, go up, you know, after lunchtime, dip before lunchtime, come back after lunchtime. The amount of day traders that are actually doing that, yeah, there's some. Sure, there's an effect. I'm sure you're right some of the time. I've seen it some of the time, but it's just, we are literally at eight, 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 uh, or 787, the exact Fibonacci retracement, my friend. I think there's a low likelihood of we breaking down below that. But, you know, we'll see. You could be right. You could definitely be right. We'll see, my friend. But that's an auspicious trade, in my opinion, especially with such a low position. I'm literally just trying to start the position out. Anyways, um, oh, boy, I lost like 10 viewers during that rant. Oh, my gosh. That makes sense. Oxygen. All right, 11, 11, 10. 50% retracement level. We're holding above that. I like that. Uh, taking a look at the SAR. We're in bullish territory. I want to look at the four hourly. We're looking very good, probably. Did we? I want to see if we kissed that 21 SMA on. Uh, okay, so we did. We basically did. So that is a bullish sign. Um, but we're also seeing some decreased volatility. Okay, so that's weird. Volume is slowing down, it looks like. That's that's probably why the, the, the volatility is decreasing, indicated to me by the. Uh, 
uh, the the closing in and hooking in of these bands here. We did get that kiss off of uh, 1074. That is where I recommended the buy a couple of days ago. Obviously, you're looking pretty sweet if you if you took that advice. Um, PYR short report just came out. Short reports are a great opportunity to pounce on the dip. Uh, we may cover that. We may. Get, I don't think we have time to do a whole fundamental. You know, look at the short report, cover the important things to me. I don't. Only a couple of people care about that stuff, but I like that nano dimension, bro. I just uh, did you just get here or something? I just said about. I just got into nano dimension, bro. I just took a trade on nano dimension really quickly. Let's just reiterate this because it's important. I guess it's a live trade. Seven eighty seven just started my position. Yeah, twenty shares. Yeah, I know it's like nothing. Yeah, but it's like house money, Brandon. Are you just trading just for the sake of live trading excitement? Kind of, but this is also an auspicious trade. This is a very auspicious trade, my friend. Th think of your live streams as an investment in yourself and skill set. You've been improving every day. Great work. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate that. You don't understand how much these, these comments. I, lo I love these guys. I love you guys, man. <laughs> um, all right, so 787. Yeah, that's that's where I took my little trade there. But I back to oxygen before I forget, and we've got a thousand over that I've that I've also forgot. Uh, I like that we I like that we kissed that middle Bollinger band. I like it just like Microvision. Obviously, in Microvision's case, right after we kissed that Bollinger band, we just head straight up for the moon. What is it up right now? Twenty percent, eighteen percent. So we're bleeding right now for Microvision. Um, Bio Nanos bleeding a little bit short term. Jumia doing all right. MP not doing too well today. Um, yeah, so this is not a horrible entry point, but with Oxygen, you better believe in this company and you better know what the hell you're doing because we are trading at a one more than a 100% premium. You know, this is why I'm so skeptical. You know, I just, it's not in my DNA. You know, I do, I do trades based on everything, but it is very hard. There better be some really bullish catalysts coming and some very favorable indicators if a, if a stock price is trading at 100% the premium as opposed to what it was trading at a couple of days ago, literally. I mean, if we look at the RSI here, I guarantee you we're overbought. Okay, we're at 69. We are over. We are basically overbought. Um, so, you know, I'm not saying this is the top. I'm not saying this is cool. I'm not saying we're not about the moon, but uh, just be careful. And yeah, you're at that 50% retracement. That's a potential entry point. If you think the whole India thing, if you're buying in with a whole increased demand, I think, I, I don't know. I don't know if that is, I haven't done the due diligence and digging there. Um isn't this a key level? It seems bearish right now. Yeah, it is. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, this is why I'm investing in, in Nano Dimension. Okay, it's not because of the technicals. Because, well, obviously, the technicals are very bullish. If we look at all the short-term indicators, I'm pretty sure everything is everything. We have not got really any bearish. Okay, so we did get that parabolic star flip. That is an indication that super trend is about to come on the daily. That's very bullish. But short-term, four-hourly, I'm assuming we're in bearish territory everywhere. But this is why I invested in Nano Dimension, my friends. Literally, we just got that bearish flip on the four-hourly. Very bearish right there. But daily, we're still in bullish territory, and this. This is why I'm invested in them. We got the acquisition news. And to my knowledge, I'm pretty damn sure that nothing happened to send this selling off. Like we literally got an acquisition. We were up like 18%. We hit 933 and then just boom. Like the markets really just took it down single handedly all the way down to test the 61.8% retracement level. I'm expecting it to hold. We will see. And obviously, if we are, we right now are like right below it. Uh, I want you guys to look in the past. If you don't know anything about trading, we would have to confirm the breakdown, which basically means we would have to come down here. And then when we try to come back up, confirm it as the new resistance and then close, get a daily close, get a four hourly close below that. That is the only time that I am going to even consider selling this. And I actually cannot even sell this. I have to hold this position overnight or else because i have no day trades today uh yeah i have zero day trades today so i can't i have to hold it and obviously nano dimension this is why you have to do your due diligence you can't just take trades based on the company's technicals you have to do the company you have to look at the company's product because if i end up holding the bag on nano dimension and this was a horrible trade idea which right now it looks like it may very well be right literally it looks like we're breaking down right now we've got a huge buy we've got huge buy walls here i don't see us breaking this i think it's unlikely but if we do end up breaking confirming the breakdown heading back down to 650 or 750 or something uh, I'm fine with holding the bag because this is a good company. That's why that's why I have it in my potentially auspicious watch list, right? I mean, you can just get all of my trade ideas for the next coming years. Okay, some of these like a Nuvo, Jaguar Health, some of these are not very uh, updated. I, these I'm not really bullish on these. Uh, and great companies, especially these, all of these companies right here, I think there is some sort of potential to be to, for them in the next couple. That's why I have them labeled as great companies, right? Um, so I hope that explains the name to mention the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, NAS, NASDAQ and BNGO. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. So BNGO, you know what? Let's do BNGO and I'm just going to talk about the NASDAQ because we already talked about the NASDAQ five hours a day. Um, so NASDAQ, if we, if we close the day 
above 0.34 minus above 0.34 percent in the red roughly if we close the day above that that is fairly bullish because you guys know why okay you can rewatch the stream or you can watch the nasdaq update basically if we hold the box that we are in the resistance level that is maybe turning to support at least the bottom of it is turning to support potentially if we hold and get a bounce right now you cannot tell me we're going to get a confirmed breakdown as long as we are ahead as long as we are above roughly uh 1450 1440 roughly and 0.3 percent in the red we are good to go there's no there's no need to ring the alarm bells yet but at the same time guys you have to realize that nasdaq's fate is literally going to be determined by the fed uh by jp and biden and earnings those four catalysts that's all that's all it is you're at this point if you're buying in right now like i was okay i'm not really buying in let's be honest okay i bought like what uh, a couple hundred dollars maybe i put uh what 157 dollars in nano dimension and uh what was the bio nano it's like what is it working 40 shares so what is that like 200 dollars maybe i'm not really betting on that because it's a gamble it's literally a gamble now the technical i'm the longer we stay above the longer we stay sideways um um it's more the more bullish i would get on the nasdaq but it is a gamble buying in anything essentially unless it's just really undervalued because of the nasdaq you it's 50 50 i mean it is literally 50 50 now if you watch the little um if you watch the biden proposal tax bill biden tax increase proposal and the congress oh yeah i have to talk about the congress unveiling as well because i know not many people watch those videos um that is basically i think there's a chance that the congress i think there's a chance the house and the senate i think there's a chance the senate i think there's a good chance the senate is actually going to not pass the the new tax increase and if that happened that may just be the catalyst to uh to to push us above all time highs give yourself some credit run some ads there should be i think there are ads on uh, this live stream. i'm pretty sure uh yeah monetization is on my friend um on the on the live streams i do yes i'm sorry i do sell out i, I have sold out a small amount technically i guess because i used to say i would never do ads now i do some but on the time sensitive information my promise to y'all is that i'm never going to run ads during or before the video on any time sensitive information which is basically everything besides streams the only ads i actually run i do run a lot of ads on uh, these on these indicators right here just because this is what i've learned over a long time of investing many many a long time of investing pain and suffering is what i've had to incur to make these videos so those are the videos that i have heavy ads on like a normal youtuber um anyways great branch of nano dimension do you think small cap growth stocks like bngo and nano dimension follow the russell 2000 pretty closely i've noticed this usually but right now they are both dropping as the russell is rising you know what my friends i've looked at this a couple times and let me look at the russell 2000 one more time iwm here I don't really, I don't think there's a huge, I mean, yeah, okay, if we look in the past here, I guess, I guess there's a, there's a bit, there's a heavy correlation to them. I'm going to be honest with you guys, though. I think, uh, oh, thank you so much. My friend, you did not need to do that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my friend. Salute to you. You did not need to do that. Thank you so much, though. It's much appreciated. Um Jesus, I just lost my thought. Um, but yeah, if we, if we, so as, in regards to the correlation between bio nanos and small caps and the correlation between them and the Russell 2000 and small caps, um, I think there's actually going to be. I think you guys already know my thoughts on this. These small cap companies, these are the ones that are going to ha- are going to change the future. These are the companies. A couple of these companies will shape the future and be the tech that end- that continues to innovate our lives for the next f- ten years, decades, centuries. Really, technology is not done. People think, oh, technology is in a bubble. <laughs> People have been saying technology is in a bubble for twenty years. Literally, there's always been bears on computers and phones, and this stuff is technology. Technically, technology is in a t- any tool, but when we get to actual actual screen technology, right? Computers, laptops. Uh, uh, you know, phones, screens, all this stuff. Not necessarily that, but technology, genomes, uh, 3D printing, more efficient things, electric vehicles. Even I'm not that I'm not crazy about electric vehicles, but this stuff is going to change the future. And this is why I'm so bullish on these companies. Because if these companies are all biotech, biotech, technology heavy, whatever you want to label them as, these companies, all of them, even the e-commerce Jumia, that is technology heavy. If you ask me, e-commerce is technology heavy. These are all technology based companies. These are the companies that will change the world in my opinion and if you can pick one winner just one if you can hold long term on bngo nana dimension mp ctsr jumia if you can hold one of these for 10 years and one of them becomes the next tesla or even not even the next tesla but even half of that like close to the next tesla that is enough that's enough profit to cover all of your losses and then some that's why i'm so damn confident in these stocks that's why i'm able to go and, and buy nana dimension uh when we're down when we don't really have any any signs of a short-term reversal right i think we are basically bearish territory on every single basically small indicator that you can't the only real bullish indicator we have here is on the daily uh the daily uh parabolic star here 
And we are obviously, I think we are definitely going to get a uh, daily reversal with the super trend because we've been downtrending literally since toward the 22nd of February. I think it's very likely we get that flip uh, toward towards bullish uh, these next couple of days. But we will see. We will see. It's going to it's going to turn on the net. It's going to be the Nasdaq, my friend. It's going to be the Nasdaq. Um, oh my gosh, my friend, you did not need to do that. My friend, her, oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you as well. My friend, you did not need to do this. My friends, my friends, you don't need to do this. You don't need to do this. Do not feel like you need to do this for my hard work. I, I am, th I am thankful enough. You don't need no money. I don't need any money. Thank you guys so much for what you've done already. Seriously. I don't need I, if if the channel fails right now, we've had a great run, and I'll be thankful for this the rest of my life. Seriously, I'm serious, and that sounds like and I sound like a typical YouTuber, which I hate. I started the channel to avoid sounding like them, but it's true. It's true, man. I have to say, it. They, the, most YouTubers they they waste more time. I'm wasting time right now by thanking these people. I know the people want the stocks. I know, I know. But let's get to some stocks. What do you guys want? What do you guys want to see? Anything y'all want to see? We got uh, we've been streaming for like 45 minutes. I really got to take notes with these streams. Um, when does JP speak? Is it at two? That's a great question. Let's go to the economic calendar. I got it pulled out. I thought I had it pulled up. Let's pull it up right here. Okay, economic calendar. Here we go. Let's see what exactly. I think it's two thirty. Yeah, Fed chair. Yeah, so so two p.m. is the Federal Reserve, and then two thirty is when JP, the man, the myth, the legend himself, is going to be doing it. How long have you been investing in trading? I've got this question a lot, and I would say an auspicious amount, my friend. A very auspicious amount of time. Uh, how do you send money guys? Oh, I feel like, I feel like a check as answering this question. Like, oh yeah, send me money now, you know? <laughs> okay. But I'll tell you anyways, cause you, it's a, it's a legitimate question. Okay. So on the chat here, you just go it's, it's that right there. Okay. Oh, I feel so bad for that. I just feel so hypocritical. That's what a typical YouTuber would do. Oh boy. Um, ORMP. Oh boy. Okay. Really quick. I'm going to do ORMP for like 30 seconds. Don't leave the stream boys. I know we got like a high amount of viewers in here compared to usually because we usually have negative viewers, right? No one watches, but ORMP 30 seconds. Okay. We got the bounce off this ascending level looks like. Okay. If we drag it up a little bit, uh, I like the chart pattern, but you're going to be a little overextended short term. If we look at the hourly, uh, Bollinger bands and the super trend, I'm guessing you're very bullish, but the Bollinger band, you're going to need a kiss. Okay. Actually on the hourly, you're not that bad. Let me look at the two hour again. Uh, okay. Not that bad either there. Okay, you're really not that bad actually on all of them. I'm completely wrong on my intuition here because you have had a fairly decent sell off since twelve dollars, and you've been you've been. I guess this is legitimate. Uh, we've had two sell offs here. People have tried to try to push the price down, and you've rebounded very nicely. I like the setup, but you're obviously paying a nice premium compared to a couple of days ago. So be careful with that one. What else do you want to see? What else do you want to see? Um, yeah, I know. Yes, goodness, gotta have a gotta have a gotta have a have to keep a close eye on the markets when he speaks. Yes, sir. When JP speaks, oh my gosh, we're doing it right now. Oh my gosh, we're getting carnage. We're getting carnage. The markets. Okay, boys, ring the alarm bells now. If we confirm this breakdown, we are right now trying to break down. Let's go to the Nasdaq so we can see exactly. Let's go to like the five minute chart here so we can see exactly what is going on. We may be seeing a confirmed breakout. Let's check it out. Okay, here it is. Here it is. We are below the level, the red level of support here. It is well, it's technically resistance distance but it's where we want to hold above it and turn it into the new support okay this is going to determine everything nasdaq what we do right here let's check the short-term indicators let's check the super trend in the SAR. we're bearish one minute let's go to one minute okay here we go we got to break above uh roughly right around here to turn it to green this is scary man this is very scary if we confirm the breakout, I know this is scary, man. You guys may be seeing, we may be seeing some action uh, and some some carnage live on the stream here. Maybe this could be bad. It could, eh, or or here's here's something that I need to say. You guys need to realize this. Even if we confirm the breakdown and the bear case come, it looks like it's starting to come come to fruition. And yeah, we have the double top pattern, bearish price target starting to head down to it. We could still get a huge catalyst like JP not doing anything stupid. How nice would that be, right? Him not doing anything stupid for once, or Biden not doing anything stupid. Uh, he just did the stupid uh for the market um the tax tax increase right the capital gains yeah that sucks but oh my gosh we're testing it right now oh we're getting perfectly rejected this is painful this is stressful to watch we're getting perfectly rejected at the star here oh boy let's turn the bullet pants on as well oh my gosh we have the S the sma here as well middle sma oh my gosh we're not going to break above this are we please break above come on boys we do it. push the nasdaq pump the nasdaq boys in the chat pump the nasdaq no i'm kidding um uh yeah he needs just to not speak so damn often or people could just not stop not care so 
so much about what he says. There's like the slightest subtle hint, like, oh, it, the economy is is good. It, it, it's looking good. It's shaping up. And then people are like, oh, no, sell. <laughs> Get out, boys. Wall Street bets, everything, microvision, everything's gone. Um, I, saw, I saw a microvision price action real quick. So let's say we are bleeding very much on the microvision stock right now. Let's go to the four hourly here. Ooh, you got that bearish flip on the daily here. But it, let's be honest. Oh, no, you didn't. Uh, okay, maybe the four hourly was what I saw it on. So yeah, you did get the bear flip on the four hourly. You got a nice wick up. This microvision price action is literally just being determined by Wall Street bets and the lighter announcement. The tentacles are not going to have that much uh, weight here when comparing it to to those other things. Let's check the Nasdaq again. Oh, I hope we are not bleeding. I hope we are not. Let's check the one minute. Oh, we got per we got perfectly rejected, boys. We have no signs of life right now. Let's check the EMAs. Anything? Let's check the thirty minute. Any any signs of hope? Are there any signs? We're just basically we're just looking for confirmation bias right now. <laughs> Essentially, that's what we're looking for. Um, okay, so this is actually bullish. We are holding this uh, support here, 30 minute. Somehow, we this is a bullish, uh, bullish. We have the pair of star flip holding above that support verification validated very nicely there. Um, but obviously, on the one minute chart, we've got a heck of a lot of resistance levels to break through. We're trying to break through again. Bullish right now, retest, second time retesting it. Come on, get that flip. Come on, hold the NASDAQ up a little longer. Let's go. Let's prolong our little run here. Microvisions run. Let's prolong Microvisions run. Hold your BNGO, know what you own. Oh, come on. Come on. We're so close. We are so close to breaking above. Oh my gosh. This is so this is so nerve-wracking. Literally, if we confirm the breakdown below this, this could be the start of a the bear case scenario, which is a drop down over the next few weeks, literally of 13.3k. Literally, that's what bear case, that's good. That could definitely happen. Or also another scenario here, if we do confirm the breakdown and start trading, you know, below, uh, if we set a lower low here and a lower high um, and started consistently down trading, get rejected, like right now we we're looking like we we're going to do. Another thing that could happen, we can show out, confirm the breakdown, you know, and it could be a total false breakdown because the catalyst of Biden and JP could totally send the stock, could totally send us to the moon or they could, they could team up with a double top here and send us down to 13.3k it's a total gamble in my mind if someone wants to give me some insight on what they think at jp and biden are going to do today please tell me please tell me what you got oh we, my gosh we did it we did it boys oh take a deep breath Take a deep breath, boys. We got that flip. Hopefully, this this is probably meaning we're going to have a little bit of bullish price action for the next couple minutes at least. So we can take a breath. We can probably look at something else now. Um, let's just make sure we're not going to flip back really quick. Let's let's keep it on for a for a very short amount of time. Um, CTR app going up again now. I don't really think that JP and Biden cares about our stocks. Nice. Um, well. They don't really, my friend. They do care about some, but it does, that doesn't matter. Their, their policies that they're going to do for the country and the economy, that is what the stock people, that's what we care about, and that's going to have heavy implications. But yeah, it would be nice if they care, cared about our stocks. I can't tell if you're joking or not. It's hard to it's hard to be sarcastic in the chat, I know. So I'm I, I could be reading that. You got worlds, girls watching the chat too. Yeah, I know. I say guys a lot. I know. It is like only 8%. I think the demographic is 8% according to YouTube. YouTube knows everything about you guys, by the way. I'm going to do a video one day showing the YouTube studio all studio all the analytics that we show i'm going to show them i'm going to show you all everything they know about you they know your age they know your uh they know your gender i mean obviously you put this information in i'm not saying oh the government's spying but they know a ton about you i'll say that they know what device you're on they know a lot of stuff i'll show you guys the analytics one day but yeah nine percent girl i'll try to i'll try to say i don't know i'll try to say guys and gals sometimes i don't know i usually forget it's a habit my friend and every it doesn't every youtuber say guys a ton we just got that bullish flip super trend let's go let's go boys we just got that bullish super trend flip very bullish on the nasdaq short term i would love wouldn't it be just so great if by the end of the stream we uh the nasdaq started pushing and we confirmed the breakout above yeah right that's gonna happen no way that's gonna happen but but that uh wow youtube knows everything about it. so scary that's totally true that's a, that's a great point my friend at, at this point no one even cares just give their data away i give it away i don't care for the for the sake of efficiency and time i do it. i don't care um so that's a great point that's a great point my friend um so the smartest, th more smartest thing to do is wait with cash position on what J, J, Joe Biden and Jay Powell say. Well, that's the gamble, my friend. It's a gamble both ways. Based on what I think, I, I think it's fifty-fifty. I think uh, there's no, you know what? I'll say, I'll say it's. 
I'll say it's 55, 45 bullish. You know what I'll say? Cause even if Biden, even if worst case scenario, you know, we confirm the breakdown, uh, the details of the tax bill are even a little worse than we in, uh, are thinking right now. I think, uh, there's still a serious chance that the Senate will, will reject the bill and not pass it. I think there's a serious chance for that seriously. And even the house, even the house members, most of the house members, not all of them, but a lot of them have a lot of lobbyist friends, a lot of millionaires telling them what to do. They are not going to want this bill. They are going to vote. No, I think. And full breakdown on that in the video we did earlier today publisher a couple hours are you in any cryptocurrency i've made a ton of money off cryptocurrency but not directly i've been in mara oh my gosh mara is pushing right now see the mara cryptocurrency has been so weird lately bitcoin is going up and down and mara and riot they literally are just not even that correlated anymore it's so weird so weird um but I made a th I made thousands. I, my biggest winner actually in my my biggest winner has actually been Mora. I've been trading Mora since fifteen dollars. Um, yeah, I've been trading Mora. I've been trading Mora since right here. This decent trend. This is when I started buying the dip. I bought it early. I bought it like I think I bought this dip right here. Short term amazing, long term or mid term horrible. Kept loading, held. I held all throughout this, and then I finally took profits right about here when we started when we started. Uh, showing reversal signs and yeah i've been trading ever since i uh i, I don't even remember when, when the last time i traded it was because it's been so long i got out yeah i got out of crypto more up, up here um i don't remember exactly where for some reason my mind is blinking um but yeah, I made thousands of dollars on Mara, man. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not in any direct cryptocurrency. I'm not actually in Bitcoin right now because Bitcoin, Bitcoin, there's a couple of disadvantages to, to trading actual Bitcoins, and there's so many advantages to trading Mara because Bitcoin, you got to do. Uh, there's no leverage, which you guys know I like a little bit of leverage. I'm not like, uh, you know, 100% or 50% margin trading. No, I do like a little bit of leverage though because obviously I'm very confident in my trading, uh, and the more money I have on the table, more money to make, obviously, or more, and at the same time, more money to lose. But if you know what you're doing margin is a good thing all in all in my opinion the, the fees are very low people say oh margin fees are huge they're very low my friends uh um, nasa again nasa again let's look at them again let's real quick let's just look at this okay we're still pushing let's go this is why i love these indicators they, we literally just predicted basically we basically just predicted what nasa was going to do very short term and this is why it's so easy these indicators once you learn to use these indicators man it's not hard you guys saw what i just did i just looked at the SAR. is it green oh it's going to go up if it's red oh it's going to go down it's really easy man it's really easy and of course it's way more complex than that the Okay, good luck analyzing a chart the way I do. If you only know those indicators long term, right? Look at all this complicated stuff here. Um, good luck. But one minute, yeah, we are pushing. Nasdaq is pushing, boys. Let's go. Um, yeah, you know, it's only the one minute, right? And the hourly, we're still are we bearish? We're bearish and bullish on the on the hourly bear box are flip. So basically, fifty fifty there. Um, BNGO bounced off six eighty three neatly as you predicted. Did it? Did it? Let's check it out. Check out BNG. Um, yeah, 683. It looks like 683. We got that five minute super trend right there. Let's take a look at some other time frames. Um, okay, getting mixed signals there. Bearish on the on the one hour, the two hour. Let's check it out. No, oh, just I don't like that. That's I don't like that at all. See, this is why I got my uh, well, at all in all, you guys already know why I have my buy limit all the way down to 646. Um, for live trading purposes, for the excitement, but also because, um, because uh, can we go please go for once i have me confused but because the nasdaq and the market's the catalyst that is why i'm so you know potentially bearish if you're just looking at the 646 you like you, you see this and you're like wow brandon you think we're dipping to 646 i don't think we're dipping to 646 necessarily it's 50 50 i mean it is seriously right now the markets are 50 50 so it is a total it is a total long term midterm yeah we're bullish i say we're bullish and yeah i said 55 45 earlier but it's basically a gamble on what the nasdaq is going to do it is i mean that's what it is if you want to say you know exactly what's going to happen all right then tell me what uh tell me the uh little speech the the pre-written speech that biden is going to say and then, uh, then we can talk about what's going to happen but no one knows what they're going to say man no one knows jp biden is all a gamble it's all a gamble what else do y'all want to know let's let me scroll up here and see what comments i missed i always i'm sorry if i missed your comments yeah I, i'm not trying to pick and choose comments but i uh I, sometimes i can't keep up with them all um the dynamic duo will pump the market this year <laughs> dynamic duo jp and biden that's funny as hell um jp is always neutral when he speaks well he is 
Yeah, he is. Well, not he is, but not necessarily like just subtle things when he says about how good, especially when he talks about how good the economy is doing. When he starts to say everything is good, everything is great, obviously that implies less need for uh, government, crazy uh, government intervention. Like we have a crazy high, very high amount of government intervention in the markets these last couple of months, especially COVID, right? Our, the government solution was just every all hands on decks, money printers go, let's go ramp, ramp, ramp up the printers, right? And uh, uh, as we start to get better, and we already have stock market wise, we've already recovered, and then some, right? We've already totally recovered. So interest rates are going to rise eventually, um, and stimulus print, printer go burr is going to eventually stop. So that's why there's a big, there are big implications for the markets with JP. JP gives me PTSD. That's so true. I'm going to pin that comment. You know what? That's funny as hell. And we, and that's so relevant because we're about to get that today. Let me pin that. Uh, here it is. JP gives me PTSD. Yeah. Yes, it does. I miss Trump. Fair enough, my friend. Fair enough. We're not, I can't tell you. I can't, we've got, we got, I can't do the politics though, my friend. So I can't really comment on that. Um, actually liquidated half BNGO for a loss and put it in more at 33. We'll take back profits and put in BNGO. Do you think it was a good move? Well, I don't know when you did that. Let me look at Morris chart so I can get a sense. 33. I think we, yeah. So you just, I'm assuming you just put it in. So you liquidated half B and Joe. So you liquidated that like today or yesterday, I'm assuming. And then you put it at 33. So roughly right about in here. Do I think that was a good move? Well, short term, it was a good, it was a good move. Trump cared more about our stocks. Well, I'll tell you this, his tweets about the stock market were funny as hell and very entertaining. That was damn sure. That was damn sure, man. Um, like the market would be like down 1%. And Trump would get on there and say, get the NASDAQ up. And then it was just, you know, just boom. Um, if anyone remembers that yesterday. Okay. So yesterday, I, I mean, I'm really bullish on both of these companies, short and long term. Uh, I would say, I would say short term. I would say short term, uh, they both, had, I would say neither of them have crazy potential short term, but mid term and long term, they do. And if the markets are good, uh, BNGO and Mara, short term potential is huge, right? If the markets are going to be good and JP and everything, we confirm the breakout above all time highs, everything is good. So it's just, I do I think it was a good move? I mean, short term, it's obviously been a good move right now, right? You put it in at 33, you're up what five ten percent already that's a great move if you want to take profits that's great just if you're going to hold or add on the dips uh please know that you're gambling with the nasdaq because if the nasdaq goes down i think we're gonna if the markets do what i think they could bear bear case jp is horrible biden is horrible earnings are horrible it's gonna get bloody that's why i have ten thousand dollars in buying power right now right this is why i've been slowly taking profits and i've taken some flack for it i don't care i'm not gonna be that youtuber that's like oh you know hold always never sell right i'm not doing that I'm not doing that my friends i I'm going to do my opinion regardless of what the flack is. I got like eight dislikes on the Bionator video because I sold 72 shares out of 472 because literally just certain people don't like to watch 30 seconds, which is fine. I get it. I, you can't please everyone. I know. I've learned these lessons, my friend. Trust me. Uh, but it is certainly a little bit frustrating and funny at the same time, right? Like literally, if you were to watch 30 seconds, you would have known that I am still very bullish. Um, holding it for getting the money I need to master this. Um, all right, let me check. Let me check up here. Okay. What else? What are the requests you guys got? We've been going for what? Almost, we've been going for an hour now. Um, I'm going to do some quick plugs at the end. Make sure you guys stay around uh, at the end. If you want to see some quick plugs, boomstick. What's up, man? Boomstick. How are you doing? My friend, when's the Biden talk? Biden is going to be two 30, my friend, two 30, according to the economic count here. That is what, well, no, 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 not Biden. Excuse me. That's J pal. I don't Biden. I think it said, uh, tonight. Let me see if I can pull up, uh, when was it? When was Biden? I think it's later tonight. I think is what the source was. Um, no, no, no. I think it was, yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna, it would take me like two minutes to maybe find the exact article, but I think later tonight, according to Yahoo, Fi a Yahoo finance article is when Biden is going to be unveiling the bill to Congress. And then Congress is going to, Congress is going to do their little committee action, their little gay little committee action, nothing wrong with being gay. They're going to do their whole takes forever to get anything done in Congress and the government. They're going to do their whole thing. And, uh, they're going to be debating stuff. I think, I don't know if they're voting tonight, but they're going to be they're going to be working tonight on the the bill, essentially, if that makes sense. Um, do you still own shares of BNGO? Yes, my friend. Yes, I do. I own 400 shares of BNGO, 38% of my portfolio. Please don't think I'm bearish on BNGO. Also, on the topic of BNGO, since I'm kind of blanking right now on <laughs> – 
<laughs> Kaboom was like, why do you have to do that? Now you made me laugh, my friend. Gay L, oh my, oh my God. Um, all right, really quick. I'm going to do a quick plug very quickly. Okay, let me go to my portfolio. Let me go to my profile. You guys know Dead Inside, right? I know a lot of people love Dead Inside uh, as a YouTuber, right? Dead Inside YouTuber. If he does the little Sunday thing, the little Sunday review of track stocks, if he does that, there's a very high chance he could skip this on on purpose because he's not very honorable. I think, I don't know if he will because I'm a YouTuber and if he, do, if he reads this, he'll realize I'm a YouTuber, but he could basically cover this, uh, you know, my Reddit post here of all the BNGO known catalysts. If we pump this post enough and if it holds where it is right now till Sunday, he will probably review this and pump our channel potentially um, and pump BNGO potentially, right? Obviously, because all the catalysts, right? I'm bullish on that. Due diligence is bullish. So if y'all want to uh, see Dead Inside pump the channel and BNGO, go to Reddit and uh, pump this channel. Go to Track Stocks. If you want an exact link, I can I can I can give you a link here. I'll give you a link in the chat right now for it if anyone wants to do that. There you go. Okay. Uh, here I'll pin this right now. Really quick. I'm sorry. We're gonna get back to stocks in one second. Quick plug, boys. Quick, really quick plug. I'm sorry. All right, there we go. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with plugging until the end. Here we go. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here we go. What else we got? Um, my cost basis is twelve twelve fifty. Advise me if I should sell on what, my friend? On what? Bio Nano? Is that what you're saying? No, I don't think you should sell if you're doing that. I think you should add on the dips and know what you're doing, please. And if you're gonna get, if you're gonna be one of those people that's like, oh no, I can't take the stress, just don't look at your phone or sell an inner lower if you can't sell the red. If you if you're one of those people that like, uh, they they you know you look at your open positions right here, and if you have something down like fifty percent, like I used to, I used to be down fifty percent on Bio Nano, literally, or at least forty thirty percent, and I looked at that every day. I'm not one of those people. People that sells just so I can get the aesthetic benefit, you know, so you don't have to look at red on your open positions. But if you're one of those people, surely, you know, you can you can re, you can re-enter if you lower if you want. Thoughts on APXD and Nasdaq? Can I transfer all my stocks to Weeble really quick? Oh, this is another plug question. Oh my gosh, your guys' questions want me to. Uh, you're, I'm basically plugging the channel by answering your guys' questions. All right, so yes, you can transfer all your stocks to Weeble. There is the Weeble link. Yeah, I have those. Quick plug, Weeble link. You you know, give me more money. You know, uh, yes, I do have that link though in the description. Yeah, you can transfer all your. There is an option to transfer all your stocks to Weeble. Cap and handle on future fintech. Um, do I even have the stock in here? Okay, Future Fintech, really quickly, 30 seconds, cup and handle. Oh, yep, I see what you mean. Very obvious cup and handle. But then my, my the thing here, Boomstick, as you surely know, you need more consolidation and you need a, a breakout and you need confirm, you need some more clear trend lines, right? We really don't have we really don't have clear trend lines. Like something like this is kind of what you're looking at, and you need a breakout above that. And then obviously the price target would be roughly about roughly something like this. That's not very scientific. Really quickly, your price target will be way higher future fintech what else do we got please an analyze nasdaq i think we're pushing still yeah we're pushing my friend we did are you guys is everyone like is everyone's watch time only like five minutes is there anyone in the chat that watches like half of the videos for half the live streams fully i i totally understand it is very boring to watch a live stream about stocks after for like an hour in a row especially with someone as newbie as a youtuber as me i'm a total noob to youtube i don't know what the hell i'm doing totally true totally valid valid uh, criticism but we, yeah we did just cover this and we got that bullish flip right when i said that bullish flip it's so easy to predict the price action with this i mean i do it all the time literally masab you're a legend my friend for that you are a legend um yeah right when we said that i said we're likely to see bullish price action boom we push and obviously on the five minute let's check how we're looking on the five minute five minute oh my gosh okay we're literally approaching a, a important level of resistance right there on the five minute 30 minute we bounce off that support i think we're bullish on the 30 minute as well let's check at the hourly hourly is mixed four hourly for hourly we're bullish i'd like that so the technical is really analyzing the the, the the bullish confirmations up or down uptrend downtrend bullish bearish uh as far as the uptrends as according to the super trend of the SAR, we're looking bearish or excuse me we're looking bullish short term and and midterm based on the technicals but as i say guys you know if you're just tuning in you may wonder why i make all these claims all the time uh why i think the nasdaq is is why why i sold out of a lot of positions why i took a ton of profits like two days ago right in the pre-market um or was that yesterday? Yesterday or two days ago? Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, I took a ton of profits. It's because NASDAQ is going to be decided. The fate of it is going to be decided by JP Biden earnings and uh, and the Fed announcement. Those that's that's what's going to do it. 100%. 100,000%. Newbie here as well, but have had you on since three minute mark. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, Ryan. You're a legend as well. I listen to the live stream as I do homework and comment when needed. That's fair enough. That's totally fair enough. Uh, 
I get why you guys may want to click away after like five minutes, two minutes. I, I know I ran. You never know what you're getting yourself into. It's tangents, rants, uh, live trades. You know, you never know what the hell you're getting yourself into when you click on this channel, my friends. That's why it's exciting though, right? Um, can we watch Biden and JP talk together? We could. Here's the thing though. We can't. I don't think we should today just because I'm not planning on live streaming like for five hours. I'm planning on ending this within 30 minutes probably unless we just keep consistently getting 70 viewers, which I think is the most I've had on a live stream consistently at least. Um, short interest in nano dimension has spiked recently 43.5% as of yesterday. That is, that is great. I, obviously you guys know why I'm bullish on nano dimension. I did do a live trade on nano dimension. Let's see how we're doing. Okay. We're still literally, oh my gosh, so boring. Literally, this was the exact same chart when, when I, oh, when I opened this position like 30 minutes ago, literally we're holding above as I think, I think we're going to likely be likely seeing bullish price action. If the markets, if there were no catalysts, we're likely to see bullish price action, but obviously it's a gamble with the markets, total gamble. Oh boy. We got so many. We got so many. Um, yeah, we know we can't. I want to do, and if you, you know me, Kevin, right? Me, Kevin, my direct competition, right? Me, Kevin, the god, the, the legend himself. YouTube, he dedicates his whole life to YouTube. Okay, thousand dollar camera, right? My camera is literally the webcam, right? My quality is not as good as him, but we're going to start transitioning to kind of me, Kevin style topics like live streaming the top you know interviewing famous people uh uh the company ceos doing watching the live jp earnings reports after hours right that is i want to do that stuff but uh and honestly guys honestly guys my streams just don't get views after they're not live right so the videos that are more relevant i think more informative for y'all is actual bngo videos after hours where i when i usually post them uh you know mara uh nasdaq microvision nano mission all the stocks we typically cover so yeah we're going to be doing we're we're going to transitioning. We're going to be transitioning to meet Kevin style, you know, live coverage. All right. JP, is he going to crash the markets? You know, I'm not going to be doing those thumbnails though. The meet Kevin thumbnails. I don't think, but, um, uh, I'm nothing against his thumbnails. The thumbnails obviously work, right? He gets millions. He gets more, most views out of any stock YouTuber I know of. Right. But, yeah, we're going to be looking at be looking out for that in the future. It looks like BioNano is pushing short term. It looks like we are pushing a little bit. Um, we did get a bounce off of that uh, off of that super trend off of that six eighty three level. There's a ton of key levels of support uh, that we have here. If we go on the daily chart, I mean, basically we have a support level at every single. We, if you look at another enough indicators, we have support levels all all over the place. Uh, but the the important ones, we we did just bounce off that two hundred twenty one day SMA on the daily. That's obviously very important. Otherwise known as the middle band, uh, Bollinger band. That's very bullish. You guys know the Bollinger Band. Very strong indicator. So I like that we're confirming the breakout. We want to stay. It's very bullish if BioNano can stay above 20. Uh, that's uh, what is it? 686 exactly, right? That's a fine entry point that you can go, that you can get into. BioNano, 100%. I believe that. Microvision is getting killed right now. Okay, we're, I'm not really. We're still up 13%, but it's getting killed microscopically, right? We we pushed all the way up to 25. Now all the way down. This is why it's so irrational. This is why I didn't really take up a trade position. It's so irrational, right? We stayed above. We wicked all the way up to 25 before getting rejected. And this pre this Fibonacci level is not updated, right? We, it's based on the previous all time high because that is a, that is a, you know what? Here I can do this to make it more simple for you really quickly. Move this up, and then we can just go ahead and. We can go, let me lock that real quick so I don't accidentally move it. Okay, we can go ahead and drop a horizontal support here at uh, this this previous all-time high, or better yet, we could do a rectangular support level. We can do right here. That's roughly, that is the all-time highs. And right now it's resistance because we just confirmed the breakdown again. We're literally just going between all-time highs below it, all-time highs below it. So it's so irrational because it's just Wall Street bets in the LIDAR update. Like I said, I've been predicting the last couple of days, it's going to be earnings per share, revenue, LIDAR update, Wall Street bets. These are the things that are going to dictate microvision stop price. That's obviously happened exactly. Uh, where do you live, bro? Like which state? Springfield, Missouri, my friend. Springfield, Missouri, down in Hillbilly Village. Not really. It's like a city. Springfield is a. It's like a, it's a city. Yeah, we were suburbs. Total total suburbs. Uh, but we are fairly. I guess we're fairly hillbilly-ish. I don't know. Um. But yeah, Springfield, Missouri, my friend. Uh, I used to have like a bit of a southern accent before I kind of toned it down. I don't know if you can still tell, like a very subtle one, I guess. I love Missouri. How? Misery. The state of misery. I like I like it too. I don't know. Dude, I'm in St. Louis. That's so cool. That's so I hate St. Louis. I hate St. Louis, my friends. I cannot stand it there. That was where I was born, actually. I was actually born in St. Louis. Anyway, that's totally irrelevant. I probably lost like 15 viewers just talking about that crap for a second. All right, what else we got? What else we got? What's your end of your price target on Nano Dimension and BNG holding another 900 shares at 40% down and worried about another crash sell or hold. Um, all right, so so price starts on the end of dimension, each down 40%. Worried about another crash. Holy shit, man. Uh, all right, so so price starts for nano dimension and being chill. Uh, 
my price starts end of year. Okay, I don't even have to show you this. I can just talk about this. Okay, this is more exciting if we just go to Mike uh, Nano Dimensions. Uh, let's go to let's see what's pushing right now. Let's go. Let's check the Nasdaq. See what Nasdaq's doing. Um, okay, yeah. Let's go to the Nasdaq. Leave that one minute or five minute chart up here before I go on a rant. This is going to be a nice rant. So prepare yourself, my friends. So yeah. So Bionia, this depends on your risk assessment and your goals, my friend. Of course, but I will say that I recommend considering averaging down. Um, who's the person that Who's the person that uh, asked that? uh s s s something uh i would i if you're worried about another crash that's fine just i would either sell out now and re-enter right now or lower or um if you're worried about you know oh i have to look at my portfolio every day and it's red just re-enter now sell your shares re-enter now right you're not gonna make any profit or loss it's gonna be a very small loss right because the hidden fees they do very small fees it's not really anything to worry about but do that and i recommend averaging down because long-term bngo and NNDM, they all oh, you're out of cash of course that's what everyone says but consider your other positions. Consider what you can do as far as reallocating, cutting losses in other positions if you can, if that's even an option. Um, and I recommend holding. I recommend holding, my friend. I don't think it's why. I, I, you guys know I, I could be totally wrong, and I could, you know, please do your own research and decide for yourself. But I think BNGO, I, all my my money is in it, man. My whole reputation. My if BNGO got delisted, the channel is done. The channel is done. I mean, I'm getting dislikes. I'm getting all, eternal, perpetual haters that would hate me forever for leading them off a cliff. Right. And of course, I disclaimers. I'm not going to run through the disclaimers, but you guys have to make your own decision. And of course, I don't think that's fair if you do that. But my reputation is all on BNGO. And I believe very strongly, very firmly that long term, there's no doubt in my mind, we are, we are, we're mooning long term. We're mooning. I don't know when. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know when. I don't know why. Uh, okay. But we are mooning long term, in my opinion. BNGO, likely case end of year, $50, but more realistically, $50, $20. That's our realistic uh, worst case, technically. That's what I think is more likely to hit, honestly. You know, uh, if the Nasdaq were to were to confirm the breakout right now, we can see an extended, very another aggressive bull market for small caps and Russell 2000 and the Nasdaq. This becomes more likely. Right now, I have it labeled as a likely case because, as you guys know, I don't like changing these. I the only time I'm going to change this stuff is if I ask you guys for your feedback and I get enough OKs in the comments. Um, so that's the only time I change any of this stuff. Obviously, this stuff I have to change. Obviously, did we hit any of our price charts? We hit Microvision out of the park. Let me go ahead and we hit Microvision. We have not hit BNGO. Um, we've not hit a lot of these. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and go back here. NASDAQ, we are getting rejected. We're, oh, I, I'd say we're honestly, based on how long we've been holding right here at this parabolic star on the five-minute, I'd say we're about to break out of this or get a sharp rejection, of course, but I think we're about to break out. Markets are not looking horrible right now, maybe anticipating a little bit of bullish uh, JP action. Is Branson cool or lame? Oh, man. Oh, so many people don't know what the hell we're talking about. But I'm going to answer anyway because I've been Branson several times. Um I don't like, I'm not a normal person. I don't like going to restaurants or I'm not antisocial. I have, pl I have very, I have plenty of friends and stuff. I, gr I love talking to people, but I don't like going to restaurants and stuff and the, the events and stuff they had there, but it's cool. That sounds super weird. I know. It's like, what the hell is this dude antisocial or something? Um, I don't think it's that cool. I mean, it's fine. There's a thousand people there. If you're if you're okay with a thousand people there and extremely expensive prices, cool golf courses, it's got some cool stuff. But anyways, um, we will never hit BNGO price target. I'm so sad. What the Ryan, what are you doing, man? You've like been flip-flopping between someone I like and someone I don't like. Pick a side, man. Are you with me or are we are you are you gonna become the new Howard, right? When Howard was a bear, like all those times ago. Howard, I might res I actually respect Howard now if y'all know what I'm talking about. But but uh, Lake of the Ozarks, yeah, my friend Lake of the Ozarks. Oh my gosh. Oh, so overhyped. There's nothing to do here. Not, it sucks here, man. I don't like the people here overall. No, they're not bad. It, it could be much worse than some other states for me. Um Pinterest 67 calls. I'm gonna live in the country for Pretty soon, man. I'm getting out of the suburbs. I want I want more space, less people. Pinterest 67 calls for the week. Pinterest double bottom supporting. Yes, when I saw Pinterest down, I don't know exactly what uh when it made it go down this far, but I'm assuming it's the earnings or the revenue, something lack of uh guidance, something like that. Uh user growth lags, analyst stands. Uh oh, they beat earnings and it's oh my gosh. Okay, let's read this real quick. So Pinterest is they beat earnings. Why it's tumbling right here? They beat earnings. Oh my god, I hate that. I hate the pop-up ads. If I ever make a newsletter, guys, like I like I probably want to, I'm never gonna do these pop-up ads. God, how annoying is it when they get, oh, you want to subscribe to the email? Oh god, no, I don't. I want the information, right? Um early morning training investors at a higher bar than analysts. Okay. Um 
Yeah, Pinterest has been a crazy one, man. Pinterest is one that I've been bullish on for a while, just given their business model and the the sale, the amount of people that actually buy stuff on the Pinterest app. Very, this is a high cap stock that I actually like long term. Believe it or not, yeah, a high cap stock that Brandon actually doesn't hate. It's crazy, right? Usually, I hate I hate all high cap stocks, right? I'm not necessarily bearish on them, but I'm more way more bearish than other people that are like, oh yeah, 50 percent of my portfolio high cap stocks. That's the smart way to do it. Yeah, a lot of you in the chat probably have that. That's fine if that's your risk tolerant and assess risk tolerance and assessment if that's what fits for you that's great it's just the upside is just so much higher if you know what you're doing in these high cap stocks you know or not high cap low cap tech heavy stocks in my opinion and of course we get another crash we'll see how that, that, that comment ages but but we'll see Hey, now, great stream, man, Misabi. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for thank you for watching for so long. I cannot believe we still have this many viewers. I cannot believe I can hold so many people's attention for for so long, or at least I, I guess probably people are coming in five minutes, leave ten minutes, leave. But that's fine. I totally understand that. Would it be likely for being able to form another cup and handle in the immediate future? Let's take a look at that, my friend. Yes, it absolutely is. But here's the fallacy here. I've been here every every five every day. We get some some newbie call a, a new cup and handle on PNCO because they're like, oh, it looks like a cup. Is that a handle? Is that what the price target? Is that what the cup and handle price target that people are talking about on the Weeble comments mean? Uh, basically, as long as we until we break out of ten dollars uh, at nine eighty three exactly, you can call a rough modified cup and handle. As long as we keep going in the trajectory that we keep going, right? As long as we keep going up roughly in this kind of manner, we, you can call a cup and handle there. But yeah, we do potentially technically have cup and handles. Yes, absolutely. We hit the price target perfectly of this other one. So, how long have you been trading for our trades? Trades you and my furlough to follow up. Uh, well, looking to grow forward to you. I've been trading for an auspicious amount of time, my friend. That is what I would say. That a very conducive amount of time. I've been through the lows and I've been through the markets going down. I've been through the markets going up. I've got a very, I would say, balanced perspective on board bear markets. So I'd like to say I'm a very, uh, fairly objective investor, investor when it comes to that. Um, um, trace, 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 funny story. Trace, trace is actually literally a big reason why I started the channel. Literally, I literally saw him. I was like, dude, this guy is exactly like me. He doesn't know what he's doing. YouTube newbie come in here, learns how to do a little bit. Views go up millionaire in a year. He's, I think he already is a millionaire because of YouTube. That's my goal, but that's not, I'm not doing YouTube just to become famous and, and money. No, hell no. I'm doing YouTube because the ads that other people do are annoying as hell. And when they ask for likes and subs is annoying as hell. And I'm not doing any of that shit. That's why that's the biggest motivation for the channel. Honestly, I can provide the same information to these other YouTubers, these other top YouTubers. Like, uh, I'm not going to name names, but I'm sure you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. They put five ads at the start of the videos. They ask for likes. They put their Weeble. Why do they need to ask for a Weeble link when they already are millionaires? I don't understand. Like, are you just not satisfied? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that's my rant. You know what? You know you're getting rants when you click on the channel. That's my weakness. I rant sometimes. But I don't do ads and I don't ask for stupid stuff like that, except at the end of the video. At the end of the video, yes, when I do this thing, when I say this, yeah, then and obviously, come on, that's, a, that's as transparent as you can be, my friends. That's as transparent as you can be. Um, I think I'm going to end the stream. This is getting ridiculous at this point. I'm starving right now. My stomach is, grumble, is growling right now and grumbling. So I'm going to end the stream at... 12 or before so 25 minutes or less depending on the interest of the stream depending on the chat and how many viewers we have so nasdaq check let's do a nasdaq check let's do it let's do it my friends the nasdaq is like all we do nowadays this is literally is this just a nasdaq channel at this point just a market sentiment video the channel at this point it seems like it doesn't it uh but it is but honestly this is this is going to control our fates you know it is so it is justified uh really nothing crazy here okay one minute this is the action the action is going to be on the one minute we just got that flip man we'll see how accurate this it is this time last time we got that flip obviously perfectly accurate that was your buy signal sell signal is right now we'll see how good that age is according to the parabolic star i'm not necessarily saying that but we are likely to see some some bearish price action on the one minute uh and we did set a lower high uh that is that is painful for me to say we are setting lower lows and lower highs uh in the markets today and we just did again lower low lower high our previous high was this and our previous low was this so let's hope we can get a triple bottom here on the on the immediate short-term chart right let's hope we can set a triple bottom around 14 0305 around that let's hope we can get it up we, we can have worst case short term go down here get a strong bounce and then start setting higher highs and higher lows that's i, I honestly i doubt that there's not much saying me uh there's not much telling me from a technical standpoint that we're not going to see a, a retest of this level right here but but we'll see we'll see man but my gut my, my intuition is just telling me that it is a scary time right now because i just we're at all-time highs we got a thousand headwinds potentially you know it's just so many things that uh 
that could screw us over here. That's why I have, you know, I'm still in my stocks. I still have plenty. I still have $7,000 in the stocks, but you know, I have $10,000 buying power. I, that tells you a little bit about what I'm anticipating. I'm not telling you we're about to see. I'm not telling you it's more likely we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna we're gonna crash and we're gonna screw up. Okay, BioNano is pushing. Come on, BioNano is pushing. We got to take a look at BNGO real quick. Come on, BNGO. We're pushing. Let's go here. All right, Super Transar. Let's take a look at the bullish mid. Okay, we are gonna be a little overextended, right? Short term, we are gonna we want to hold around this level so we can have that bullish band. Get a couple more candles. Get that bullish band extend out and get that 21 day SMA or not 20. I I always say 21 day the 21 sma on the one minute chart have that come up here meet us get that balance continue higher that's what we want here seven dollar resistance seven dollars really hasn't been the level to watch actually surprisingly i thought it, i thought we would have uh, huge i don't think that's true seven dollar resistance like yeah a little bit but not really 690 has been the huge level 690 and 683 those have been the levels where people have been loading up according to the level two data in my anecdotal experience here on the stream i mean you can see yeah plenty of times we've looked at this and it supports my claim but but that's been the real the real buy wall at 690 683 i think people are watching the videos and realizing that those are that we have the the real level of support is uh is the the bollinger band the 21 day sma on the daily here at 686 right now so maybe people are maybe our people are smart getting smarter with the trades who knows um but seven dollars is a fine entry point too if you did seven dollars it's totally fine over 720 is what we need in the short well I don't think it really matters. I mean, yeah, in the short, sure, but I think you guys know I, I sound like a broken record at this point. What we need is j Powell to give us some good news or Biden to do something good for once in regards to the markets, right? Um, got my college tuition in BNGO. I was super depressed last week, but it's looking better now. Oh, my gosh, my friend. How stressful is that? How stressful is that, my friend? Man. Well, you have you have uh, you have a strong stomach, and uh, you you understand that you must risk a lot to gain a lot, my friends. My favorite Elon Musk quote is that he says, uh, "When something is important enough, you do it, even if the odds are not in your favor." That is the best quote. No one takes risks anymore. Everyone in the market, in regards to the markets, and my family, when I first started doing YouTube and the, and trading, they were like, "No, Brandon, time in the markets. Every you'll hear time in the market beats time in the market." I agree. But adding on the dips, selling on the rips, you can maximize your profits so much, my friends. And ca cancel capital gains tax. Yes, it could. And anyways, back to my rant. I want to finish this rant because a lot of people can learn, I think, from this. If you don't take risks, good fucking luck. Uh, I, know that's, I know that's trite. I know it's, it's you hear that every day. But good luck getting anything worthwhile in life without taking a ton of risk. Risk isn't everything. And even in the stock market, that you could you could construe that in the wrong way. Don't, make that, don't let that make you think that uh, GME calls to the moon, highest risk trades is the way to go. No. No, I, I'm not saying that. Anyways, I, I, you guys know what I mean. Prediction on last quarter for BNGO for quarter one revenue and EPS. I did do a here. Let me pull up the Google Doc real quick. You know what? Let me pull up. Let me pull up the. Uh, here, let me pull up right here. Let me pull up the Google Doc where I did the earnings per share. Uh, Revenue, BNGO, EPS. Here we go. Quarter one EPS projections. Uh, I have not done anything there, but if we actually look at my revenue here, that's really funny. But if we actually look at my BNGO 2021, 2020 EPS projections, um, oh my God, I just paid the same thing. No, 2021. I want the 2021 one. Where is it here? I have it right here. Projections. Yeah, okay, here it is. Okay, I didn't name it BNGO. Damn it. Okay, BNGO 2021 revenue projections. Uh, if we scroll down here, basically, I don't. I can't tell you quarter one what's going to happen, but but quarter four, year over year, I am projecting more than a 100% year over year growth for BNGO. Um, analyst projection is this. We're going to beat it by 5 million according to my very estimated projections. Like it's very hard. Hey, man, do you recommend stop loss? I'm going to get that. That's a great question here in a second. But I'm gonna, and here's some dumb points. I have that video. Um, I, I should, I, maybe I should make that my recommended video on the homepage, maybe. But, but yeah, year over year, we're going to be great. I don't know if quarter one's going to be great for BNGO. I would expect it would be. I would expect it would be. But. But uh, but these are the year over year 2021. We're going to see a huge increase, I think, for revenue. Uh, hey, man, do you recommend stop losses? So no, I do not to beginners. They are fine if you use them. I know plenty of people are going to be like, what? Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. I use them and they're fine. They are great if you want to use them for me. False breakdowns and false breakouts are so likely in the markets today. If you're like me, and I know everyone that's watching this video, 99% of everyone watching this video checks their stocks every day and probably multiple times a day. So you, stop losses are not necessary for me. They're just not necessary. You have the ability to go in and make a better decision than an automated stop loss preset uh, most of the time. If you check your stocks most most of the, uh, a couple times a day even. Um we run on earnings. Well, I'll tell you this. Last time we had earnings, we beat it. We beat the we we 
we soared on revenue. We beat revenue projections a lot, and it was great. The guidance was great. With the, gui- the guidance was great, and by guidance I mean catalysts and the company's outlook and sentiment towards the stock in the next year, and everything they're doing as far as the next year catalysts, what they're doing to you know justify their shareholders staying, keeping their money in. It was amazing. The earnings report was absolutely phenomenal. Do you know how many catalysts we got here? Let me go back to, let me go back to that one. Let me go back to Google Doc here. Uh, where's the catalyst one I just had? Here we go. So catalyst and events for BNGO. Um, Sapphire 2.0. Yeah, all these things, these things right here, all these pink ones, that was all in the earnings report, and we got zero price action reaction. This is to answer your question, Boomstick. Are we going to? Is BNGO going to run on earnings? I think because we got such a great earnings yesterday, or not yesterday, last earnings, we got a great earnings. Price action negative the next day. And you may say that's because of Russell Caps, but at the end of the day, we had a great earnings and nothing happened. We, the stock <laughs> investors didn't like it. And that's just, that's just evidence for, for market manipulation there, in my opinion. But but I would not expect a crazy earnings reaction. I think, I for me, I think earnings is going to be very indicative. If it's a great earnings, if it's a bad earnings, it's to be expected. Honestly, I mean, as long as it's not a huge bad. If we meet, if we miss by slight, slight es- uh, estimates, we are the here. Let me show you to, to, to articulate this point. Let me show you simply Wall Street. Let me show you simply Wall Street's uh, analyst projections for the financial future for BNGO. We're basically projected to go up like this, right? Literally straight up. Um, so. So basically, if we can just stay on track with the analyst projections for EPS, even if we don't beat, we're in great, great uh, position here. Um, future growth, I think, is where it is. Yeah, so look at this. Okay, if we just stay on track the next couple of years of staying roughly where the analysts have them, they have us making $21, $217 million a year. Earnings is going to be way positive. We're going to be way positive earnings. Uh, so, you know, I think we're I think we're going to be looking fine as long as we can stay on track with our earnings. Anyways, that was a long rant for one question, but a very important important question so uh so yeah i think i'm gonna end the stream in seven minutes in seven minutes because i my stomach is dying right now yeah man i I need i need i've eaten uh, basically nothing today um what else we got do you have any long-term five-year three to five-year plays my friend my friend what are you talking about my my all my plays are five to ten years now not necessarily i'm gonna hold them explicitly not going to buy or sell at all on that position add or or reduce my position at all on these stocks but the all of these plays all of these nano dimension bio nano especially these four right here these are my big four essentially plus mp is short term my midterm i guess bio nano and honestly if evs until people start waking up about the serious defects about uh ev and green energy uh uh defects like you know uh, what are we going to do with the storage you know th- i think evs are a little bit overhyped at current prices or current hype levels but long term i'm with you long term i'm with you ev i'm not doubting you on musk totally completely i'm with you that's why i'm invested in a, in a company that supplies electric vehicle rare earth materials for the batteries and for the for the motors so but these four i'm invested in all these for three five years man these all three five years from now i think if you will come back three five years from now on this channel whether this is going to be a successful channel or whether we die and it's this channel stock price just goes way down, right? Which is certainly can, certainly 100% can, right? Um, I think these videos will, I think all these, these, these videos are going to age well. All these stocks, you're going to be looking at them uh, in the future and be wondering, man, why didn't I listen to that guy? Why didn't I do my due diligence and, and see if that was a good company? I might have invested in it. Now it's 10x the price, right? I think that's 100%, 100% likely for me. What do you think about QuantumScape and the, and the new battery type they're working on? I just don't know enough. Uh, I, I Q, QS is the ticker symbol, I think, there, if I remember. IDEX, I did cover IDEX. I did. Um, I did cover IDEX uh, earlier in the stream, and I don't know enough about uh, – oh, my gosh, so many. Okay, looks like I'm way behind there. I was going to pen a comment, but anyways, IDX chart. I did, I did do that, my friend. Now it is in research level. Imagine when it was clinical level, exactly, my friend. Bianchio, everything fundamentally. I mean, there's no, there's no bear case. I mean, have you guys ever heard a bear make a coherent argument long term for Bianchio's uh, failure? It's not, it's non existent. Bianchio has done everything we wanted it to do since 1569, since the peak. Stock price has not reacted well, but long term, I am so, I am more confident today than I was two months ago when we were at five fifty. 
1560. I mean that with complete seriousness and sincerity, my friend. NASDAQ update. I'm going to do a NASDAQ update right now. Still pushing. Wow. Okay. NASDAQ, is, NASDAQ may be setting a new high right now on the short to immediate short term. This may be sign a sign for a reversal. Let's see if we're setting a higher high. We are trying to set a higher high. We need to break the previous high. We have a double top there on the short term one minute chart, but double top. Don't let that scare you. Double top sounds super scary if you know anything about it. Uh, but the but but the but the one minute chart obviously gets trumped by the five minute, by the thirty minute, right? Every single time frame, you know, you, what you really need is a greater. They should put a greater than uh, uh, sign there to to signal that every single time frame you go, I guess stop right here, right? Because the weekly trumps the daily, and then the four hourly doesn't get trumped by the monthly. But but the bigger time frame you get, the more important it is. So the triple top, not crazy, not a crazy thing to worry about. But on the short term, term like minutes, yeah, it's something to worry about. But yeah, we are looking to set up a uh, a new. We're looking to test this triple top here. See if we can see if we can get that get that breakout. We will see. I buy some to take short term and some for long. I too, I took fifteen dollars, fifteen thousand dollars of profit on BNGO before averaging down before from twelve over the last three months. Man, if you guys have stuck stuck with the channel, I mean, just congratulations with the amount of pain that we have been in, been in since for a, for a community here. We've been literally making these videos every day. Buy on just downtrending, downtrending. I'm literally just telling you guys the same thing every day. I was before we got the huge bounce, average down, average down. This is a buy point. This is your buy point. You're gonna thank me a month from now, a year from now, five years from now. Obviously, if you've been adding on the dip like I have, you guys know I've been adding on the dip. I, you know, I've we, we just congratulations, man. You guys deserve your profit if you if you've been averaging you down on the dip for on BNGO for a couple of weeks or even a couple of days, right? I know how hard it is if you're a new beginner, especially to to deal with losses and to deal with red and to not deal and you know trump you and have your think with your head rather than your heart and not trade based on your emotions. It's very hard. I sell fifteen thousand of thirty five thousand at eleven. I, I'm assuming you mean you mean dollars uh, or, or yeah, total share worth not not shares fifteen thousand shares. That'd be insane. It's thirty five thousand shares. That'd be insane. Um, I think I bought. I think I bought trades, and I think I sold the dollar down. Please help me. Uh, what What do you mean, my friend? You're gonna have to elaborate on that. I don't know what you mean whatsoever, at all. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna. What is it now? Okay, it's 11:48. I think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna do my quick plugs, my friend. Any? Okay, I'm not gonna do any more ticker requests, any stock requests. But if you have any questions in regard to fundamental questions. Uh, news questions, fundamental analysis, catalyst, NASDAQ, any questions not relating to the technical analysis or, or technical analysis of a stock, please ask them now. I'm going to get out of here after I ask, answer any other questions we have in regards to basically anything that's remotely relevant to stocks that is not technical analysis on like a coverage. Please, you know, this is your time to ask if you want. Do you think it's market manipulation or simply that high caps are doing well and most investors don't consider it justified to invest in growth stocks that are higher risk? Great question, my friend. It is both. It is both, my friend, 100% in my view. Um, the amount, the proportion of, okay, is it more this or more this? I don't know exactly. That's impossible to say, but I think it's pretty damn clear at this point that market manipulation has had a big role in buying on stock price 100%. That's why we've had such a big bounce at the first sign of any sort of small cap resilience, I think. But but also, I think some, I think there, the, the fluctuations happen. High caps get in investors and traders they narrate and dictate uh, what is going to be the high caps small caps um, biotech recovery they dictate what the hype and interest is in and obviously um, it, it fluctuates it, it, we're, small caps bio pharmaceutical biotech companies like bio Neo, they're not going to be at the peak of interest or in the prime sector all the time it's going to fluctuate and that's natural um, and I don't think it's anything to worry about necessarily you guys know long term biotech small cap biotech is in a, is fine long term it's going to be it's going to be it's 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 underrated. I'll say that. I have a quarter million into BNG. Wow. Oh yeah, Havana. That's right. You're the one that makes uh makes makes uh 10k a day day trading, right? You're the one that I always see uh making a ton of profits. That's awesome, my friend. Um, what else? Okay, last minute questions. Can you stream your lunch? I want to see what you're eating. I'm on diet. Um, my friend, I would not help you with that. I have no diet at all. I exercise a lot and I'm very active and I take a lot of health precautions because you know uh, that's I don't need, you don't want to hear my health precautions. Okay, they're weird. Cold showers. That's one of them. Let's just say that. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm eating wings. Wings is probably gonna be my lunch. My friend, make some make some wings. Put some hot sauce on them. I love hot stuff. Anyways, no one cares about that. I don't know why the hell I'm talking about that. Um, am I freaking out for nothing? Okay, I bought Nano Dimension or M M N M D. I'm not going to cover that because I don't have time. I told everyone I would not do that and sold 438. I think I bought it. I I bought 570 dollars of it. Am I freaking out for nothing? I sent the message. 
Um, I don't know about that stock, my friend. I can't really give you a great answer. I, I can't get. I don't want to give you false hope or 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 make you sell. I don't want to do either of those things because because I don't know enough about that stock, my friend. I really don't. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. If you have other buying power, or if you do come to the conclusion of taking losses, cutting losses is the best. Wim Hof. Yeah. Oh my God. Someone knows about Wim Hof in the chat. What are the chances? Wim Hof is a legend, by the way. Anyways, that's totally irrelevant. I'm sorry for that. Uh, yeah. Back to your question. Consider taking losses if you find if you come to the conclusion that that is the best thing to do, and then reallocate into either these stocks or these stocks if if your risk tolerance and assessment and, and goal assessment is going to be fitting into that niche of hyper growth, high risk, high reward, long term, low risk, in my opinion, stock. I, those stocks are, I don't know what MNMD is, but I don't know if that fits into this category already. But anyways, next question. Um, I know I meant when I bought in the trade area, am I taking loss out the side of your regular mouth? Dude, I just I don't know enough about your about your style, my friend. I'm sorry. Um just do your do your due diligence, my friend. My if you know anything about I think you know what you're doing based on what you say. You know a little bit about trading. Read some Reddit threads on that stock, read some recent news, uh, go look at the financials, the analyst price predictions, the the products, go check out their website, look at their products, see if it's legit, then make your decision. Anyway, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna do some quick plugs, which might take like five minutes. Sometimes I rant on the quick plug section section, which is astonishing how I find a way to rant even on the irrelevant section, which is just plugs, literally. And not plugs. I mean, this a lot of the, most of the stuff I honestly link in the description is just free investing resources that help you out, like Discord, Reddit, right? All this stuff. I'm about the name. Um, so I think that's it. I think that's all the questions. All right, last call. Last five. I'm gonna give you five seconds, and then I'm gonna start doing the irrelevant, irrelevant section, my friend, my friends. Thanks for the stream. Have a good lunch. Thank you so much, my friends. Thank you all so much for being here. You all are absolutely amazing. The, the two people that donated, if those are st if those two people are still here by any chance, you did not need to do that. Thank you all so much. I mean it. I know every YouTuber say this says this is nothing new. It's Trey. It's it's you know everyone says. It, but thank you all so much. Okay. All right. Um, I, my friend, um, good luck to you, my friend, Sin, or however you pronounce your name. God, why does everyone have such a hard name to pronounce? I can't pronounce names. So thank you all so much. Best of luck to you, Sin. Last thing I want to say, because you, you seem very confused. I'm just going to say last thing. Please do your due diligence on that company. See if you like it. Learn how to do due diligence. Do some research. If you don't like it, cut losses. Potentially consider these stocks or these stocks, right? These are my potentially auspicious trades companies right there. So take a screenshot of that if you want. What do we look for today? Signal bear or bull. My friends, there is nothing you can look for. It's totally 50-50 gamble. Literally watch the Fed meeting. See if you can time the traders that literally have algorithms and bots set up to literally sell just like that. If they hit a button, literally people, the whales, they have the setup. They will hit a button. They will sell out if they don't like what JP or Biden is saying. Try to beat those guys' timing if you want to do that. I personally am not doing that. I'm riding it. Because either way, if buy, if the markets do great, amazing, I'll play the breakout. If the markets go down, great, I'm ready to buy the dip, $10,000 in buying power. I'm so ready for that. Uh, anyone I'm freaking out, I'll post my phone number. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how to tell. I don't know how to help you, my friend, honestly. I'm sorry. Um, I'm very confused with your questions, Sin. Um, at 2 p.m., yeah, economic uh, calendar, according to this, yes. I think it's in Central Time here. I don't know for sure. I think this – okay, so it's Eastern Time. So Central Time is uh, one hour – uh, before that, I believe. So 2.30 Eastern time is, uh, is the, the, the Jerome Powell press conference and then 2 PM Eastern time is the federal reserve announcement. So Eastern time, convert that to whatever your time is. And then there you go. And then, yeah, I'm going to get to the plugs unless anyone else has any questions. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you so much as well, my friend. I'm so glad we could do this. So fun. I really enjoy these streams. Sometimes on my videos, I get, I get worried that people think my energy is like depressing, not that hype, not that, not that high energy. I, I sometimes I'm really tired. I work like 10 hours a day. I get tired. But I, I enjoy what I do so much. My passion is extremely high. I really love what I do here. Um, sometimes I don't smile very much, but I am very, I'm very happy. Love, I love what I do. I love this opportunity that we have here, man. I love it. Um, so yeah, man, plug time. Plug, it's time. My, my, our favorite time has come. Your favorite time has come. Relevant information, of course, time is finished now. What do we do now? You already know what to do, my friends. You already know. Reddit and dead inside. I'm going to repeat the, the Reddit thing because I think this is actually a potential. This is the biggest potential for the channel to blow up, I think, literally. If dead inside were to go over this in his Sunday Reddit, which sometimes he does skip threads or, or the top posts on purpose, but dead inside is a huge YouTuber without, with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. He goes over this track stock subreddit once a week, typically, almost always. He says he would. He sometimes he skipped it because, you know, not the, not as transparent as I am, but he's still very transparent. I respect him a lot. If he were to go over this, 
and say, oh, how, oh, wow, BNGO's 2021 catalyst. Not only would that pump the channel, but that would pump BNGO actually literally. This guy literally pumps stock. He has pump and dump, uh, pump and dump allegations against him. Now, I don't think he actually is trying to be he doesn't show his portfolio, so be aware of that if you're going to go watch him or, you know, he doesn't do that stuff. But but he's transparent. I respect him. Anyways, I, I'm not trying to start a, a war. I seriously respect that inside very much. But if he were to do this, he would pump BNGO organically without a corrupt way. He's not trying. He's not a pump a dumper. He would pump the channel, pump BNGO. That would be amazing. So if you want to support that, my point here is go to the little here. I'll, I'll pin my comment again. Okay, so it's still pinned. Go to the pinned comment here in the chat. Click that, and then it will take you to uh, it will take you to this post. Upvote it. Leave positive comments. Upvote the good comments downvote the comments that suck and that is how we that is how we do it my friends if you believe in the stuff don't do this mindlessly actually read the post and, and decide if you want to upvote stuff don't just do it because i'm telling you that is very corrupt don't do that the upvote it only if you want to but if you want to pump the channel and pump bngo and like the post go do that we could literally uh, we could be a successful we could get success very soon if we do that also next up what else do we have on our quick plug session what else do i have written down nothing else okay um so that is it my friends also some other random quick plugs twitter facebook instagram uh linkedin even i hate linkedin but i have that anyway i have every patreon uh website email all of those things are available for you in the description twitter is probably where i'm the most active and what i enjoy the most i, pro I post on here sometimes i post on here multiple times a day uh, at least a couple times a week i'll post stock updates here are the catalyst in uh, in form right there uh i post funny memes at least i think they're funny um, I do plug my own videos here, but I also do real information, right? I'm not saying BNGO is about to squeeze to the moon, but full transparency, I've not sold any shares and do not plan to. Sometimes I update y'all on what I'm doing in my portfolio. Twitter, so anyways, y'all already know. Facebook, I hate Facebook, I'm not going to lie. Um, I hate Instagram as well because the demographics on there. Uh, so, But yeah, I use this stuff as well. I post occasionally on there. But anyways, thank y'all so much. I'm going to end it. This is not finished twice. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so, so much. I love all of you. I'm so excited for the channel and the opportunities that we have, man. I love it. I love it. Thank y'all so much any other questions we have thanks for gonna have to fully subscribe to the channel please someone i'm freaking out please don't ban me havana woody someone help me okay last chance sin because you're freaking out right now last chance please explain your question in a way that i can understand because i don't know what you were saying last time you said i do not know what you're saying last time did not know at all buy trade button i don't know what you're talking about are you using weeble did you buy or what are you confused about what do you need help with um palpatine equals j, j uh jerome powell biden vader equals biden <laughs> Dude, Star Wars memes are the best. Um, Brandon, if I move to Weeble, does that do any good to you? I thought you were promoting. Yes, I am, sir. Yes, I am. If you go to any video or any recent video, uh, I have to. Ch I had some problems uh, with a link with exactly what the, exactly the right link was for the Weeble promotion. But if you go to any recent video, if you go to the description here and click uh, this link right here, that is going the the Weeble stock, the Weeble free stocks. That I do get uh, a free, a little bit of like a thirty dollar commission or something off of, and it's no at no extra cost to you uh, with uh, with the Weeble links. Yes, the, the Weeble actually did. Re reach out to me somehow they found my channel like being I, I can show you the email it's actually pretty cool Weeble itself a marketing rep actually reached out to me somehow even when i had like 1000 subscribers they did but but yeah that does give me money uh and that is a way you can support the channel if you want to transition to Weeble. also you get free stocks of course quick plug there what was i talking about okay i put my number on top the force is strong in this chat. The force will be with you always, but not with Ray. The the the, the new the sequels in Star Wars are not Star Wars. I don't consider those Star Wars movies. I hate them. I absolutely hate them. And they was it had such such potential too. I like what they did with Palpatine at the end there, but it obviously ruins what happened in the in uh, Return of the Jedi six. But but yeah, Star Wars is awesome. The prequels are the best. Prequels are the best. Originals are good too. Anyways, I gotta go. I've been prolonging this stream ten minutes more than I wanted to because I just I I, told, I love the chat. I love all of you. I, I feel bad ending when there's not talked. About about things and bngo if bngo sapphire discovers medical organs <laughs> and we, <laughs> okay i'm pinning that comment can't if this if the chat is going to work um i am pinning that comment that is my favorite comment ever i think i'm going to copy and paste this um I'm going to copy and paste this and post this to my Twitter if you are right with that because that is funny as heck. And I'm going to and I'm going to actually, you know, I'm going to copy and paste all of this and give you the credit. Yeah, because that is that is one of the funniest memes I've seen in a while. That's amazing. And only Star Wars people get it. But anyways, thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. Ray was broken. Yes, they suck. I could do a Star Wars stream at all and talk about that all day. Anyways, thank you all so much. So much. Fi this is not financial advice. This is for educational entertainment personals. Feel free to check out the description. Thank y'all so much. Um, things to do after this, real quick, last plug, and then I'm literally going to end it. 
If you go to the channel here, um, you have all you need to. If you don't know about technical analysis, here's your intro videos. There are a ton of ads on these, but yeah, obviously you guys already heard my justification on those. There are no ads on the recent videos or the time sensitive ones. Upcoming live streams, make sure you say your live stream. Live stream reminder Friday and Sunday, Sunday members only. The membership is there. Community tab, check the, check the community tab for upcoming stuff. That's how you get notice for stuff. Anyways, thank you all so much. This is not financial advice, Star Wars slash Docs channel slash Lord of the Rings slash every fiction, that, fiction movie and, and book that I love. Harry Potter, I love that too. All that stuff is awesome. Anyways, yeah, this is not financial advice. Thank you all so much. I will see you all in the next one.